That's right, baby. We are all Ladies domestic terrorists. We are all domestic terrorists. Hell yeah, that's right, baby. That's right. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Coming to you live from sunny California, Los Angeles. We are the Matt Gates holdouts. We are the Never Kevers. Never Kevers, rise up. Yeah. Boom. Damn. Up. You just right. you just wanted to flex that tat, didn't you? You're like, hey, hey, look at that. Look at my tattoo. <laughs> my, that's literally what I did. It's, it's sick. my Rolex. Yeah. Damn, you got you got my really house on your wrist, dude. Your <laughs> your arm. I'm telling you, man, this thing wasn't cheap. It's peeling though like crazy. It's itchy. What do I do? You're kind of a bad boy now. Have you noticed that? Like since you have a a tattoo, you're, I have noticed that. Yeah, you, you've become more of a bad boy. I yeah, think I feel it in my soul. Yeah, you but know. Boy. What's next? You gonna fucking get a get a bike, motorbike, a bike? Start smoking cigs. I'll start with like one of those uh, bicycles with that. Vespas. With a, with, no, 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 not even that. Just a bicycle with an engine. Yeah, yeah. You know, these things are dangerous, man. They're quiet. That's what I'm saying. That's the real bad boy vehicle. Knock an old lady out. She won't even see you coming. Done. Who's she gonna tell? Exactly. I um, need to get out of the Also, streets. pleased to announce that I'm wearing a large today. Whoa! I mean, this is... Uh, I mean, you did, you did this last week, too, you know? Well, hold on, because I haven't worn a large sweater in a while. I had to pull up the sleeves because of my, my shredder tat. Yeah, because you're a bad boy. But... Nice. Is that a new I can drop? report. I can report from the side profile. I can't see Ethan. Like when he's standing next to me, I can't see him. He's too skinny. That's it. He's too thin. Like I, a slice of water. Like where did Ethan go? Oh no. <laughs> I'm a juicy slice of thin watermelon. Yeah. Um. Welcome everybody. Welcome Hassan. Thank you for being here. Of course. Everybody, it's Thursday, which means we are going to be making death threats and bomb <laughs> threats to physical locations and real people. Yeah, that's our favorite. It's our favorite pastime here. I'll uh, say some other. I'll say some other tuned. stuff. I'll say some other stuff, and then you know it'll be more controversial uh, <laughs> than it should. Are you referring to something? <laughs> no, not at all. You don't want to talk about it? <laughs> no, I. But what I do want to talk about is uh, Jank Uger. Your uncle. my uncle is is running for president. Then obviously he has your support, right? His family. I mean, we'll see. I gotta, I gotta see what he's up to. You know, if he's, if he's, being, if he's taking it seriously what's or not. His, what's his opinion on um, socialized workplaces? Well, he uh, originally did delay a vote uh, internally when Ayatse was trying to unionize in his workplace, but it is he has a unionized workshop. He does. Yeah, yeah. Good for him. He did like a. Like a classic, this is not... Like the best practice in a situation if you own a business is what Ben and Jerry's did. Immediate voluntary recognition uh, once your workers come to you. Jank took it like... Jank did one step above that where he was like, oh, sure, you guys want to unionize, but like, let's hold elections. How many employees does he have? Um, I don't know. I have no idea. Is that a big fucking project over there? <sighs> no, it's bigger than this, but... um. It's probably like Teddy Fresh levels, I would say. Mm. Or was at the time. I don't know. I, I, dude, I haven't fucking worked with them in years. Like, I haven't... I have Were no you clue. part of the unionization efforts? No, I, this is after I had left. If I was there, it would have been union busting like crazy. I'd been like... Brah. That's what I was wondering. No, I, I supported them, but from the outside, you know what I mean? Scab. Anyway. Mm -mm. Okay, interesting. So no, I, mean, uh, I supported the unionizing producers, Ethan. I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, no. I, <laughs> I was like, yeah, you guys shouldn't do that, actually. Have you ever thought about a PlayStation 5? That's what you could be purchasing with your union dues instead. <laughs> Amazon, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's true, though. It's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah union, union dues. Do. Who needs them? Who it, needs them? You know? Um, so, uh, you watched Banner Brothers. Congratulations on becoming a patriotic Dude, American. Dude, I'm so patriotic. Where we're problem, through. Finally. The issue is... There's two different conflicting factors at play here, though, because it made me, like, so much more patriotic for America, but it also made me, like, hate Nazis even more than I previously did. Mm. Well, we got them all. So then, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Except we that didn't. one dude in Canada. Yeah, except for that dude in Canada. <laughs> so, like, when I 
so when the Waffen SS conversation was happening, and I sent you that political article of the guy being like, well, actually, some of the Waffen SS weren't all that bad. Yeah. <laughs> I was like losing my mind. Um, so it backfired on like modern era liberals who want to defend uh, certain aspects of, of uh, Nazis. And, and Nazi collaborators because they were like anti-USSR or whatever. It just like made me more angry about that. Now what? But I moved on to the Pacific <laughs> now, which is not as oh, good. Not as good as Bandit Brothers. Tom Hanks one, right? Um, it's the same people, yeah. Tom also Hanks. a real story. Not as good. Nowhere near as good. Because like, I think one of the, like one of the guys that they're following, he's just like, he's just fucking and sucking too much. Like I feel like he's... What do you mean? He's in Australia. Thing? He's he's laying pipe in Australia. He's having too much fun. Yeah, like what are you doing? And I feel like that's the difference between like, I mean, obviously it wasn't fun, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> the, the band and the brothers, man, they were in trenches. They were yeah, they, they were, were like front line. Yeah, they were they were getting fucking annihilated by like German machine gun fire. Meanwhile, these guys are like taking break because I think that's the difference between like being drafted versus like the draft enlistment versus like uh like actively volunteering for it where you have like more i guess more amenities huh? is, they're both drafts no there's some people in the no people in the it's the same war i know but some people in the no but it's the marine corps okay and it's the it's it's the pacific so yes there are obviously draftees and and those who enlisted but then there's also like voluntary enlistment as well, like people who like. But what there wasn't on the on the volunteered on the German. I think front? on the German front, it was more like straight draft. They're like nobody wants to come here. I don't know. I mean, I I, I might be totally wrong. Well, anyway, Band of Brothers. Some of you might not know. It's a HBO series about uh, a specific uh, group, Easy Company. It's all based on like a true story and like. Yeah. Uh, Pacific is based on a true story too. So this company, the Easy uh, Easy Company, was like. So sick. this insanely badass group of Marines that just did like such insane things. They even shit on General Patton in it, which I thought was army fucking awesome. Cause like, so there's the Battle of the Bulge, and then uh, when they're when they're uh, holding a position and they're encircled by Germans in the what was the area? Fuck, like the the, the episodes where it's like super cold, it's like con constantly snowing on them, and they're like getting bombarded. Yeah. Um, the forest. And then, and then inevitably General Patton is able to push uh, through that encirclement and, uh, and offer them supplies. It's like a big moment. And they very openly state, both in the show and in the historical documents, that they, they were like, we never asked for help. We never needed General Patton's help. We could have held the line even without the fucking resupplies. Why were they mad about it? Um, I think because he saw it as a big dub, as he was like liberating uh, paratroopers. Okay. Like there I was some the, there I was some the internal help. politics there. Well, General Patton is also a piece of shit. Like he's a fucking really bad guy. So <laughs> I think that's why I personally appreciated them shitting on him. But but uh, it's really good. It's very intense and it's very. It's got it all. I mean, what can you say? It really does. I mean, World it's, War II is just you know you don't have to feel bad about anything. You just are, can be yeah, full yeah. patriot. It 100%. depends. Though. You don't have to feel bad about anything. Well, it depends. Dude. In Germany, not really. <laughs> Less so in Germany. We don't yeah. talk about. We don't talk about the Pacific. We don't deal with. That. Yeah, we don't, we don't talk about what happened there. I don't like there. to talk about. No, that. dude, that was actually really interesting to see too. Like, um, I mean, it's a historical uh, assessment of the situation. So on the one hand, like when they're talking about the Germans, like. Uh, they're like, oh, they fucking suck these crowds. Like, we're gonna kill them, right? We're gonna kill them all. They're they're barbarians. They're crazy. And then when they're talking about the Japanese on the fucking Pacific front, they're literally just all the slurs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were just like, yeah, these people well, are just not them, human. They call them crowds, which I mean, again, they're they're there's not really great. Yeah, there also there isn't too much yeah. uh, like racialized uh, slurs against like other white people from white That's people. That's right. We gotta bring that crowd. I mean, that's it. That's all they had. Yeah, that doesn't hit that hard. It's like sauerkraut. I mean, who yeah, knows? we. Kaga. That's what I'm saying, uh, fellas, us Kaga. whites. We gotta fucking figure out new like anti-white slurs. I think that's well, that's what I'm always. That's about. what we're gonna brainstorm here today. I yeah. <laughs> um, don't say that on Twitch. Um, real fast, Teddy Fresh drop is out right now. Hassan, I, I don't know if you looked, picked through this one already, but. Take this a is look. like new new, isn't it? This new, just new. came out today. We have the iconic Bear Ears uh. puffer jacket. It's back in stock. Now with green. I we, love this music. Thank you. We got the fashion, the bear, <laughs> the build a bear hoodie. This one's pretty cool. It's modular. Whoa. You can unzip the sleeves. Whoa. You can even unzip it in half. 
and then connect it to other pieces. Damn. Whoa, what you don't hell? have to, though, either. It just looks really cool. It's just a cool feature. Huh. What? That's sick. Build a bear. Oh, this is a really cool dress. Ela's been wearing it. It's really, really nice. Um, some camo. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm wearing. Dump him. Well, I couldn't say it better myself. Dump him. <laughs> I like it. Thanks, bro. Uh, there's all kinds of fun stuff there. Oh, that ball of lava goes hard. Which one? The ball of lava, the fucking shysty, the, the fuzzy, this? the fuzzy bear shysty. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. Ela posted a picture where I was like, damn, you look like okay, Adventure Time character. Yeah, no, I want that. Which one do you want? Wait, let me see the other one. Ooh, I don't know. There's only one size, but your head is small. Excuse me. No, it's not. My head is perfectly normal, average size. <laughs> Which one you want? Um, yeah, I love how the ears pierce. That's. I think the green one probably. The I'm just one? trying to see like what I could mix and match with, and I feel like the green one I could probably wear with other stuff. This one. Yeah. Okay. There it is. That's the. Uh, what did you call it? Balaclava, the shysty. Oh, that's what it says here. Balaclava. I didn't yeah. know it was called. It's for yeah. When I wanna. When I want to rob a grocery store in mm -hmm. style, you know what I mean? Right. When I'm doing my my organized... My flash set. mob at Nordstrom's. Yeah. <laughs> I, Hassan Piker, am using a gun to rob this bank. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Still, where'd dude. they get that shit? Still I'm good. Out, brother. out, uh, brother. There's also some other f silly, fun, goofy tease. Therapy's not enough. I need to ruin his life. Am I right, girl? Kaya has already ruined my life in certain Thumbs instances. Thumbs up. Oh, I thought you were talking about Kaya. No, just the shirt. I don't know. It could be about Kaya, I guess. Um, that's it. Teddyfresh.com. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we got... So what basically the main story here today is the, um, the McCarthy stuff. There's some really fun alleys coming in and out of this story, I feel like. Oh, yeah. And um, but but first, we have some really fun stuff I want to watch. For example, RFK Jr., who is a uh, you know, he's a great guy, and we are, we're all we wish him uh, you know, we're all rooting, we're for all him. rooting for yeah. him. That's right. Yeah, but here he is. Uh, you know, once again, he's such a badass. I, I don't know if you guys have seen him shirtless, he can do push ups and everything. Yeah, I mean, he, he's kind of weak for all that muscle. Like, I've said this a lot, too heavy. I've kind of duked it out with my trainers on this because, like, they're like, he works out, that's sick. Like, we need a fit president, and I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, but like, you're a, you're a, 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 a this is what you do professionally. Like, you know, he's only putting up fucking 45 pounders on the incline. Like, that's mm -hmm. his musculature demands no, way higher not. weight. No, bro, he's stacked. I don't know. Give me a shirt. No, he him. looks, he does look stacked, but it's just like odd to me that someone that is that stacked yeah. is not able to put up more weight, especially because have like... Have you seen him lift? Why you say that? I have seen him lift, yes. Oh, he can't lift a lot? Um, It was odd like because the, the, he was doing an incline bench press and the weight that he was putting up was actually not... Uh, I, I don't think it... I mean, the weight that he was putting up was... Was was low for like oh dude come on bro like for how dude, muscular what? he is because man fuck this guy dude <laughs> so one you thing really I put that out there you went in public and lifted that one Moron. thing I want to point out here is that like this is an impressive amount of weight for uh, his size most likely it's just that when you have been weightlifting for so many years and you've developed that level of musculature I I expect I expect you especially because he definitely is on something. I think he's I think he's doing TRT for sure. I think so, yeah. yeah I, age, I, I think like that's pretty you crazy. have to do it at that point. Like you if you wanna if you wanna maintain this muscle man, mass. This man is like vaccines, I don't think so. Yeah, he steroids, I do think yeah, so. Yeah, he's taking the non virgin vaccine, okay? <laughs> <laughs> he's taking the vaccine that helps him fuck. <laughs> right, and that's all that matters. This dude is a bad anyway, so um he, this is the photo that everyone's He's so cool. I mean, guys, I mean, why? He looks great. He what looks more great. is there to say? He looks, he looks phenomenal. I'm prime. not going to, I, I, I would never. Prime. It's right there in the, in the frame. Look. I guarantee you got some prime. Uh, what? He looks, he looks phenomenal. It's just wait, like. there is. Wait, yeah. there's, oh there's yeah, there's prime. prime. Yeah. Yeah. My God. He's sick as fuck, dude. RFK's drinking He's looking sick as fuck. 
<laughs> yeah, he's like, no vaccines, but I love prawn. <laughs> Very healthy for you. I don't need to know what's in it. Just give it here. So anyway, that's RFK. He's obviously jacked, which means he's right. So another uh, display Bro, his of- his waist is snatched, okay? Did you see that? He's got fucking six pack. Like, I mean, I, I really respect that. I do. Me too. No, it's Matt. I'm saying, why are we even debating? He should be president. Thank <laughs> you. So and then, so he raised a bunch of money. And so to celebrate- he said, thank you so much to all who donated for taking our support base to the next level. I mean, hell, I mean, I'm, I'm so thrilled. And this has 50,000 likes, so everyone's feeling it. Here he is. Okay, you guys ready? <laughs> Whoa, no way, dude. Thank you so much for all that donated. <laughs> that was a really shitty backflip, too. I don't know why he did that. Like, I, I don't know why he... <laughs> Fucking Because he's young, he's spry. <laughs> Look at there's something really weird happening here. Yeah, they I think they amplified it with like CGI or something. That's what I think. It looks like there's some <laughs> weird thing going on here. Also the sound effect of him splashing is like a fucking car detonating. It's like <laughs> so loud. Is there something weird? <laughs> Kind of looks like yeah. they made it sped it up. Oh my god. They they added some splashing sound effects. I don't know why they would do that. <laughs> so funny. I don't know why he did this to begin with. <laughs> like, why did he do a backflip off of a hill into his lake or whatever the fuck he's jumping this into? It's fucking cool, dude. What are you talking? Why would you even ask that question? <laughs> I don't I, don't this shot's my favorite, too. He looks lost. <laughs> he looks lost and confused, and then they And then they, they, they punch a... into his face. Yeah. Like, <laughs> What Thanks all doing? who donated. Why do you include this shot? Look at him, man. He doesn't look happy or he looks like, what the fuck? I just, I don't get it. Look at this, huh? <laughs> That's the weirdest fucking ad I've ever seen. <laughs> you simply don't understand, Ethan. That's why he's, Clearly I mean, not. to be fair, he's got like, he's, he has like 16 points, dog. I mean, maybe he does know something or we don't, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's not like, out of all of the uh, all the other people that are running, like this man currently is like, you know, polling fairly decently <laughs> Look, for. If, if you ignore the psycho vaccine and Jewish conspiracies and stuff, like I yeah. totally get it. <laughs> but, but, but but you don't understand. That is the reason why he's popular. <laughs> so then then that poses <laughs> like, an issue. Because if you don't have the vaccine conspiracies and like the the anti-Semitism that he just like bakes into it. Uh, then he's just a regular Democrat. You know what I mean? I like it. He's like a... Which, yeah. which to me, uh, still uh, goes back to the, the crisis the Democratic Party's facing with Biden because, like, nobody wants him. <laughs> nobody, nobody wants Biden. They're like, you know, uh, the, maybe this guy's good. <laughs> no, I don't think... I think he's probably take. From what I understand, he's uh, RFK is most likely taking more votes away from Donald Trump. Absolutely. Yeah, he's he's a spoiler, not for Brandon, yeah. but for Trump, which is and, so awesome. And he's aware of that, so I think that's a dub, at least for our boy. You know what I mean? You know, and if a few Jews have to die to get him in office, then so be it. Here's his Let's uh, indict the favorabilities Let's with uh, Republicans and Democrats. Yeah, it's it's interesting. Oh, that's so sick. Dude, he, that's awesome. He's I, if he runs third party, it's like a GG Trump. I mean, I think it's it's GG Trump in general. You Unless, think so? dude, I've said this already. I think if it wasn't Biden currently president, but the but the administration was doing like a lot of the things that it's doing currently, um, like you could see the Democrats win by like Ronald Reagan levels, like unheard of uh, uh, victories. It's optimistic. No, I'm, but it's Biden, and he's very oh, old. Wait, are you and, calling a, a and he's not, 49 state landslide? <laughs> no. Maybe 50? <laughs> Maybe no, 50. I'm not, I'm not Pim Tool, <laughs> okay? Oh. Are you sure, dude? I'm not Pim Tool, but what I'm, what I'm simply stating is that um, uh, some of the stuff that the Biden camp has done thus far has been pretty decent, like surprisingly, shockingly <laughs> more progressive, more pro-labor, than I would expect more pro labor than definitely like the the Obama administration yeah. uh, by a wide margin. I, I definitely I will admit. Um, having said that, however, uh, because it's associated with like a decrepit carcass, people <laughs> immediately say his age is a major consideration for them, a cause for concern. I'm gay. Yeah. 
So Trump, <laughs> I mean, Trump is beating Biden right now in the polls. Yeah, he He's beating Biden in the polls currently. Um, here is RFK on Theo Vaughn. Why, why can't, why can't we get him? Is it got, I, 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 why can't I get him? Okay, well, that, right that, that, that might be part of the reason. I was, um, well, that, that part of it, that's partially the reason. The other reason is because you have Ashkenazi Jew DNA. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. You have, you have yeah. Ashkenazi Jews in your quarters that uh, have avoided COVID. Zach's the one. <laughs> Zach's ground zero, man. Yeah. 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 Come on, Bobby. Come on the show. Come give yeah. me come a on, hug. Give me a hug. I won't bite. I promise. Yeah. yeah I don't think we've asked, though. So uh, What? We haven't reached out? We've reached out. Oh, we did? Yeah. Yes. Never mind. Yeah, Zach reached out, so he was like, no. Oh, no, that was he saw, he saw his last name. Bernstein. You need to get love to reach out to him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's try that yeah. as a social experiment oh, right now. Assume, yeah. Anyway, here's he's talking about uh, Theo Vaughn, about him running as third party. Yeah, and then the other thing is that I take more votes from President Trump than I do from President Biden. Right. So why would that help them? Yeah, it's not helping them. Yeah. Yeah, but the, and then the yeah, other Republicans thing is, got oh, real it. mad at this. Then, right, so here it is by Jack. Uh, Ugh, prolapse, fucking prolapse. Thing, awful yeah. person. So he, they're calling the war, the war horn on uh, RFK. Now they're turning on him. Nothing funnier to me than like this guy being a QAnon guy, and he was literally like a naval intelligence guy. <laughs> it's like, what do you think naval intelligence is? Like, <laughs> you, you think that's not the deep state? Yeah. You fucking idiots. Deep as anyway. he is. Never forget Jack Posobo uh, spent his entire wedding tweeting at me. <laughs> like his what? entire wedding. Yeah. He live streamed his wedding and I was making fun of him. And he like, they, they're such culture warriors. He ordered like, uh, he ordered Papa John's, I think, if I'm not mistaken. for his, uh, That was his catering for his wedding. <laughs> and he spent the entire wedding tweeting at me, complaining. That turns me on. There it is. He did. He did Papa John. Yeah, <laughs> Yo, cause, these guys because of the N word. They're so they're so committed to like virtue signaling and supporting. Like this man catered Papa John's to his wedding. Yeah. I mean that this is not the way that you want to consummate that that ceremony. No, man. he loved it, dude. He was like uh, Papa John. Like I, I want that pizza. sweet yeah, buttery garlic That's, bread. You're dipping into that shit on your wedding night, man. Fuck. Mm. I know who didn't get laid that night. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. So anyway, there's mm. that. So we love RFK now. We're a fan. That's what we're taking out of that conversation. We're yeah. fans. Our goat. <laughs> also, just something about Ron DeSantis real fast. The kids on TikTok have realized something's fishy about this man. Something is very off. Wait, really? Oh, yes. Take a look. Dude, I never see TikTok. Oh, dude. 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 Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. What are you? What are those? Yo, they're first of all. Why did they? He looks like he's wearing clown shoes. First of all, like the way that they curl up. Yeah, there's something. I think they're right. No, he is wearing Maybe you, heels. That because, diagram makes it. Uh, I don't so know obvious. if you guys know this, but little Rhonda is little. Like he's five. Trump is like six three. Little Rhonda is like five ten. I think. No, I think no. he's five eight. No, hold on, because that's part of this. Five ten with the heels. No, hold on, guys. Hold there's, on. There's evidence here now. Nikki Haley. Says she's 5'8". Okay. Here oh, is Ronnie. Oh, you show the makeup one? Well, no. Here's Ron standing next to her on stage. She's 5'8". Well, why wouldn't he have the heels on there? He does. Just... Look at his crazy ass fucking Bro, weird orthopedic Bro, those look like Balenciagas. Shoes. You know the Balenciaga like clown shoes? Yeah. That's what, is he wearing that? Was why do they like... look like, he looks like a, he looks like a cow hoof that hasn't been cut in a, a year. <laughs> I watch hoof cleaning videos. Oh, me too. They're so sick. You seen that shit? They're so satisfying. They have to bring out like the, uh. <laughs> The pliers and shit. I love that. What a weirdo. So she's 5'8". I love And they that. both got four inch heels on. So what's happening? Damn, these people are doing like in-depth analysis. On <laughs> I think he might be 5'6", so is what I'm saying. TikTok's like, I don't give a fuck about his policies. Like, let's get into the, <laughs> let's get into what really matters. How tall is this fucking manlet? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Oliver, not Oliver, uh, TikTok? Anthony. Dude. <laughs> So, A.B., you agree, right? I mean, you know about this. Not, I'm not saying... I just Wait, know that you know about it. <laughs> I, I wore Converse with a lift, and now I'm an expert. No, the Converse are on the outside. Whoa, it's not hitting on the inside. Out, no, no, but... I, <laughs> you know all about this, right? It's like well, the third damn, time you've accused me of this. No, you know, it's not. Hassan, Hassan has the same... Uh, <laughs> oh, the platform docks? I have yeah, those. The same I wear them. You made fun of me before for those, too, remember? Those are big. Like, those soles yeah, are, like, on. this big. Hold on. 
<laughs> no, you have you have got like the sneaky heels, don't you? No, no, I have I have a Docs and a pair of Converse. Those are the only two I have. Wait, but, you have platform Converse? I didn't even know platform Converse. That's did. what I'm saying. They're they're sneaky. Hold on, let me pull them up. Pull them up. These are the Santa. Damn, you're just ruthless right now, <laughs> dude. I don't you're know why. He's a big game for a guy oh, who's ABC who's <laughs> not even five ten. Me? Yeah. Ooh. That's not even true. Like you can, you're, you, at least if you're gonna make fun of my height, at least tell the truth. You say I'm five ten and three four. Here, it's these, right? Yeah, but then it's like a high heel inside. No, inside it's it feels the same. It's just the outside. Mm hmm. And I saw these on Howie Mandel, and I'm like, those look kind of sick. Yo, but they you're, you're not short, so I don't know why you, you know what I mean? Like, but I, I'm I do, not. Yeah, I mean, Hassan's not short. It's, it's the style of it. Right, it's the style. Yeah. I like, like the Crocs you're wearing now. I like it. Yeah, they're um, not the high heel Crocs that you have. But. To be fair, I, mean, I did juicy. buy those docks. <laughs> I did buy those docks when I uh, uh, didn't have a lot of money, and I bought them online thinking that they were going to be, because they were the only ones with the zippers on the side, and I hate tying my I have no boots. problem with these. It's stolen valor, dude. It's very no, but look, it's very <laughs> honest about it. What they're doing, right? It's, it's not the, camouflaged. You know, I think it's sick though. I do like the look of it, like having yeah. like those big soles. I like those. Yeah, I, I even bought the. I even have those ones too. The the short ones with the big soles as those well. Those are a little funky. In my the third one, on like there. bowling shoes with a fucking. They're they're cool. But anyway, I got no problem with those ones. I got no problem with anything. Yeah. You know, I think it's it's mischievous and deceptive if you're <laughs> guys the the filter broke. Oh, Ethan's shit. real size is leaked again. Let me go grab your shoes, Ethan. Hold on. <laughs> you can just stand for the rest of the episode. Feeling pretty tall now, <laughs> fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same height as me while you're standing. <laughs> stand up then. No. That's one small step for man. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not continuing until you fix it. <laughs> oh my god. Like, he's huge. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not continuing until you fix it, bro. <laughs> Small man. Small man. <laughs> Small man. What the fuck, Zach? Yo, you better fix that shit, Ian. If you don't want me to call on you and include your ass in the show, you better not be shrink wrapping <laughs> me like that, dude. This is not honey, I shrunk the kids. This is a fucking leftover stuff. There, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Thank Perfect. Because uh, I can get I can play this game too, Ian. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Are you gonna shrink him? He I'm telling you, I know how to torture him. He knows I know. <laughs> you know? Um Oh, here's Howie. Yeah, he's a fashion icon though. He really Damn. is. He's got crazy fit game. Damn, dude. Yeah, and he's like, how old is he? Like seventy? Like he's harder at that age. He's just like looks stylish. You know what I mean, dude? Howie is so healthy. 67? He looks. Oh, he's sixty-seven. He looks yeah. so fucking good. He's got fashion. He's got it all. I mean, I I I look up to Howie. I really do. Is semen bad for plants? Right. Right. I don't know anything about him. I just know the anal prolapse thing. He's a good guy. He's a really good guy. Okay. I only know that. And I can't even tell if you're being sarcastic right now. I, no, he's okay. a big time friend of the show. I'm not. Okay. So uh, we got some new sound bites from Trump that are really good. Let's just, let's hear these out. Thank you to Trump. Um, let's see what we got here this week. Oh, he's so back. He, he's got so, so many good ones. President or yeah, let me, so, let what me just what go they've ahead. done is they've gun after opponents so that if you become president or some other job but if you become president and you don't like somebody or if somebody's beating you by 10 15 or 20 points like we're doing with crooked joe biden it's coming let's indict Aye. the motherfucker yeah. Yeah. what he, did you can he say that is he allowed to say that he can do whatever he wants man what they've done is they let's indict the motherfucker indict the motherfucker <laughs> let's indict the motherfucker. <laughs> Dude, he's so, so awesome. good. It's so fucking it's good, so man. Awesome. Indict him. How's Let's indict the motherfucker. Oh, Let's God. Indict. I Let's love him. indict him. There was one about him talking about, like, whether he would rather be killed by sharks or electrocution. Did you guys see that one? Oh, that you one? know what? I had that. Let me grab that. I had it last week, and we just didn't get to it. But let me, uh, that I one was fire, too. That. Here he is taunting Nancy Pelosi's husband, who was viciously... Uh, Beaten by yeah, a by his gay lover, theorist. David DePP. <laughs> uh, let's see what. <laughs> I'm sure he has thoughts and prayers for for him. 
and we'll stand up to crazy Nancy Pelosi who ruined San Francisco. Ooh. How's her husband doing, by the way? Anybody know? Dude, that's fucking <laughs> that's so crazy. crazy. That's a mic drop. Wait, that's actually, that's like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's mafia shit. I'll yeah. be honest, I'll be honest, if he was, I would, t if I, if he was really on it right now, he would have tied it up and been like, he's probably doing well. He's doing great in stocks. And then that would have been like, that would have been repeated uh, on his, on his uh, campaign uh, dubs announcement. I video. mean, this is still, still pretty this good. This is pretty next level, man. He's pretty just basically good. like, I'm so glad that dude got his ass beat by, by one of his fans who got dude. almost killed, slammed in the head Trump, by a hammer. By a Trump supporter. Stand That's the part we're forgetting. <laughs> no, he was MAGA. San Francisco. Ooh. How's her husband doing, by the way? Anybody know? Let's kill him! Kill him! I mean, and she's against building a wall. Kill him with the hammer! Shut up! She's against building a wall to what? Keep David DePeepee out? Like, what the fuck do you mean? <laughs> Homie, what are you talking about? He was a white guy who was your fan. What are you saying? <laughs> yeah. Land. Yep, but it's, it doesn't do any good because Newsom and any Democrat governor, they won't allow us to have water. You know, you have massive so amounts of water coming down from up north. That's so true. Newsom won't so let I us said, have water. I, I can understand about the water, but I don't understand why would they do that? Why are these patches so magnificently green? And it's a very small Wait, is he talking about water or border? Hey, water. He always goes on about water. Like, it's oh, really water weird. Rights. Yeah, water Not water baby. rights. He just, no, he just wants more pressure in the shower. And the toilet. Oh, 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 that's okay. His massive dumps can't go down in one flush. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a single issue voter, man. <laughs> he's, <All right. laughs> he, he hyper fixates on one thing and then he makes the entire campaign. The shower thing is real easy to fix. Just go black market. Pretty much, yeah. But here's the go thing. Go underground. I yeah. don't know if you know this, but gold is not, it doesn't, it's not like non porous like um, porcelain is. So when you shit in a gold toilet, get stuck. Hmm. It Shut doesn't up. stay gold for long. Let me tell you that. You think that's what you think that's his problem? That his, his all of his poopers are gold? Well, because his toilets are gold. Yeah, you know, stuck in the. Bowl. I think you're. No, I no, think no. you're a liberal and you're lying. Oh, well, you know, <laughs> just, my my president takes the best shit. <laughs> Clean as shits, people. Yeah. Perfect log. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't even have to wipe. Shit. Just normally, out yeah, they normally they would get only these. Under under normal circumstances, they would be flushed immediately. But communists. Uh, <laughs> Communist Chinese-backed Governor Gavin Newsom has ruined that for Trump. Yeah, that's what it is. As you know, California is well known for not having water problems, so let's just let it flow. Small areas, but Obama. most of the farmland they don't let Stephen touch. They won't let us touch it. If I could do it, it would be billions of billions if they if they changed this and we worked on it. And I'll explain. Nobody's that. following. It would be billions and billions of extra dollars coming into the state and coming into our country. And we have the water. And I said, what about people, a desalinization plant? Well, people don't like them because, you know. I no. said, what about a nice, big, beautiful des... They're building them all over. It just takes like 10 years to do it. <laughs> big, beautiful plant. Big, beautiful, salty plant. <laughs> and we'll package the salt. We'll send it all over the world. It's genius. Uh, it does decimate the local ecosystem. So you need to be careful about that. But the who cares? We gotta have water, right? Duh. Um, let's see, Nancy Pelosi's I sent you the uh the one you were asking about with the sharks. Okay, here we go. Ah uh, and oh. I'm on top of a battery. Okay, I can know I, water pause starts before? flooding in. <laughs> People on liberal on liberal media, ew, yuck, uh made this seem like Trump was just like not on it, you know? He was just like slurring his speech and going crazy. This is clarity, baby. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you something. What you're about to hear from Trump is probably going to make you want to vote for him because <laughs> he's got some great ideas. <laughs> this man is a modern day philosopher. Mm. Uh, and this is simply a logical conundrum. Let's hear, let's hear him out. All right. But if I'm sitting down and that boat's going down and I'm on top of a battery. Uh huh. And the water starts flooding in. I'm getting concerned. Uh -huh. But then I look 10 yards to my left and there's a shark over there. 
So I have a choice of electrocution or shock. You know what I'm going to take? Electrocution. I will take electrocution every single time. Do we agree? What the fuck? I will take electrocution. Do you not agree? What is the scenario he's painting? He's Would on a battery. Be eaten by a shark he's or not. electrocuted to death. He's, he's he definitely question. chose wrong, by the way, because electrocution is like you're no, going to die. Correct. Sharks, they they probably won't attack you. No, the sharks are going to attack you. They're going to no. The you sharks up. will attack you. He's right. Yep. He's so right about this. Oh, yep. he's right. Yep. Yeah. Huh. But why is he I on don't a know battery? Why. He's on a boat that's sinking. He said he's on a battery. And he's sitting but on top I'm of a sitting battery. I'm down, and that boat's going down, and I'm on top of a battery. He's so on top of a battery? He, he was on a boat, yes. <laughs> he has this, like, hang-up about electric boats. He thinks... Uh, I, I saw another thing of him from a different speech, I think a week ago, where he was complaining about how it makes no sense to have an electric boat because you're in the water, and electricity and water don't go together. There's a lot of electric uh, we uh, on here. Boat. You go. Um, I think he made a good point there. Yeah, I'm sending. The ocean very, is very I'm big. I'm sending a very way. important article, perhaps the most important article I've ever sent to the Discord. Please take a look at it. I'm it's on from, a battery and the boat is going down. It's uh, it's <laughs> from uh, the New York Magazine I Intelligencer. Where'd you send it? I uh, just put it in here. Um, oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, you got it. Okay, cool. So the motherfucker. So, wait, no, the, not that one. Oh. No, this Here. is the, the separate article. There's always Donald a Trump, Trump hates sharks. Yeah. He, really? And he has hated sharks for a very long time. According to Stormy Daniels, uh, in, an, in an older interview, uh, uh, she revealed that Donald Trump hates sharks. <laughs> and then, of course, back in the day, they, uh, back in 2018, they key searched shark on Donald Trump's Twitter to find out that my man has been... Hating sharks for a minute, which I agree. I agree with him on it. Okay? This one is so good. Go Sorry, ahead. folks. I'm just not a fan of sharks. And don't worry. They will be around long after we are gone. Which, I don't know what that means. He it's says, ominous. I mean, that's, pro that may, that's probably not true at the, at the rate we're going. Sharks Wait, are these, these two tweets are two minutes apart, too. He's sharks like going are on. last are on my list, me? other than perhaps the losers and haters of the world. <laughs> yeah. He's like, Hillary Clinton and sharks. I hate them. Puerto Rico. Wow. And yet he'd still prefer to be eaten by them than on a battery on a No, boat. no. He preferred to be electrocuted. Yeah. He did. He, yeah, right. Yeah, because he hates, like, he, did, he right. under... Well, let me rephrase that. He understandably has a fear of sharks... Uh, and being eaten by sharks, right. which I respect. Sure. I, he, mean, I wonder, they are scary looking. I wonder what he thinks a shark tank or like anything shark. -related. I don't think he likes anything shark related. Yeah. Here he is talking about uh, electric motor I boats. Said, you know, I've never thought of that, actually, but I think uh, I gave him an uh, answer. So what happens if the boat has an accident and starts sinking? Do you get electrocuted if the boat sinks? Definitely. Wait till he finds out about I nuclear said, you know, powered boats. That, <laughs> he's going to really actually. fucking blow his mind. <laughs> now, can like, you imagine nukes! the boat goes down and you're sitting on top of a battery? I don't, I don't feel good about that, right? He's like, no, nope, they're words, powering have, the ships. Say, what what are, what's going on, folks? <laughs> Hiroshima, very bad. <laughs> That's what they want, these cruisers, these big, beautiful cruisers. They're like cities on, they're like an island that moves, powered by nukes. <laughs> to answer his question, you will not be electrocuted because the no ocean is enormous, I think. Well, I, I think at that point, if your boat is sinking, your boat is fucking sinking. <laughs> But I don't think that's even how batteries work. That yeah. just discharge um, the water. I don't think. I mean, I'm not a scientist. I don't know. I don't know how uh, electric batteries work in the ocean. I'm pretty sure uh, salt water does uh, legitimately harm electric batteries inside of EVs way worse than, like, it would other kinds of batteries. And I do think that uh, that fire can... Am I crazy about this? We need to I, fact check this. Yeah, we need to find I would, out if I would fact check it, I mean, but like, I, I think that it's like yet another one of those like Trump moments where like he's not entirely incorrect. Well, let's find out because if maybe the, he maybe he's onto something, you know. Well, it's all kind of moot. I mean, uh, boats have had batteries on them for a long time. Oh yeah, yeah. It's not. Of course. It's not, not massive ones like this. Uh, not I think they have. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not freaking massive uh, All right. Tesla-sized batteries. Yeah. <laughs> we need to find out. 
<laughs> what, I'm, I'm confused. What, what if are we an electric to? boat goes down, will you be electrocuted? Okay. Electric boat sink. Electric you know? So there, there is a truth to electric vehicle fires caused by saltwater flooding. This is a very real problem. But it they're happens. meant, they're built to be on salt water. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, EVs, are, EVs are not, but the, the issue is like cargo ship uh, containers that actually also are, 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 for example, shipping electric vehicles. Um, they do end up sometimes going down and uh, causing massive uh, ecological disasters like the, the Porsche. Cargo ships are sinking? There was, yeah, there was a Porsche. Yeah, there was a cargo ship a couple years back, like right around the time when I got my car and when you got your car. There was a Porsche Volkswagen cargo ship that was carrying a bunch of electric Sick. vehicles, like a bunch of take cans. Uh -huh. uh, went down. There was a there was a car battery fire, and you can't put those out with normal means. Um, so the ship just went down in its entirety. And I don't know if it was because of saltwater contamination or if it was a separate reason, but I do remember it being uh, a much larger issue than like regular fires. Well, we need to get to the bottom of this. This is important and it's urgent. <laughs> okay. Um, moving on, thank you. While, they, while everybody's working feverishly to fact check that. <laughs> yeah. Don Jr. Uh, has been out there. Uh, doing his thing. Let's see what Donnie Boy's up to. Okay, I'm seeing uh, features like watertight electrical enclosures and ground fault protection devices are built in electric boats to guard against electric shock. That's what I would think. I think that they would, if they're gonna, they would probably think about that. Yeah, yeah they the have ocean, redundancies for sure. They need. Uh, he he's ridiculous about that. He's just using like, <laughs> he's using like something. I mean, he's doing the classic thing where it's like it's common sense. Think about it. You know, but. But he's just doing shtick, right? He's not trying to like yeah. end the the boat industry, the electric boat industry. Anyway, here he is. Uh, Lululemon doesn't have a lot of bread. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. What? Thank you. Uh, next clip. Wait. What, what did he uh, say? Lululemon doesn't have a lot of bread. <laughs> we got to cut that back. <laughs> Lululemon. Little doesn't Lululemon have a lot of doesn't have a lot of bread. I believe he said. <laughs> Uh, Lululemon doesn't. <laughs> have... <laughs> uh, Lululemon doesn't have a lot of bread. Well said. <laughs> Why are people clapping for that? There's not a lot of bread in a Lululemon. There's not a lot of Lululemon. Oh, I, I, saying I, because people robbed the Lululemon. Yes. Um, he's like, oh, they're robbing it to what? You think those motherfuckers are robbing Lululemon <laughs> to like wear yoga pants? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? No, they're robbing it to sell it, idiot. And then with money, you can buy bread. Yeah, then which they are buying. They're buying bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, you know what you Probably can't pay rent with list. bread loaves. Okay, so <laughs> you know that's why people rob it. This is not like uh, I'm not saying it's awesome to do crime before anybody fucking clips me out of context and goes like, there goes the sun again promoting crime. There's a reason why <laughs> rioting, ha rioting and looting doesn't happen in a in a in a vacuum. Yeah, exactly. It, there's causes, and people don't want to be rioters and looters, they don't wake up or they're not born like, I'm going to be a rioter and looter. It, it's caused. Yeah, it's a sick yeah. job. It's got good uh, security. Yeah, you don't understand organized retail theft. It's out of control, dude. They're fucking, they're putting on the Teddy Fresh shiesties and <laughs> going into Walgreens to, <clears throat> with the express purpose of shutting them down. That's right. why they're doing it. They hate it. You definitely don't go loot a store unless you're very desperate. Yes. It's not a great... You know. And there's a lot more people that are very desperate now <laughs> than ever before. Hmm. Clearly, based let's on not, the uh, yeah, frequency. Let's not, let's not make anything else out of that, though. Let's not even consider uh, how to fix that in a more permanent way. And let's just keep doing exactly what we've been doing, which is uh, draconian deterrence measures and, and mass incarceration and enslavement of, of specific subsects of the American population, underfunding uh, social programs. It's been great so far. I think Lululemon needs to start selling bread. Yeah. Bread comes. Uh, Lululemon <laughs> doesn't have a lot of bread. <laughs> I'm looking at this. I mean, the irony of this. Oh, no one clapped guy. for him. Because it doesn't, nobody even know what he's trying oh, to say. It was like I, pure nonsense. You guys played the clapping sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. I thought, like, I was, I don't, like, I don't, I nobody, was shocked. I was like, why are people clapping for that? Nobody understood room. what he said. Because we had to listen to it like five times. Bread. Crickets. Everyone's like, huh? Yeah. Um, 
And the irony coming from this fucking guy who grew up in Trump Tower talking about how Lululemon doesn't have bread. Head on a sp on a pike, brother. You don't understand, dude. He's a conservative, though, so he's a real rugged. He's a real rugged guy. He's a real run of the mill working class guy. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm looking at the store, I'm like, there's not a lot of bread in a Lululemon. There's not Lululemon. a lot of bread in the Gucci store, and yet everyone seems like, unless you're eating Gucci loafers, which you're probably not. Dude, he's doing this dad thing with his teeth. I think that's coke teeth that, for him. I don't think he's trying to be like his dad. I think he's just like on so much crack. He's definitely cocaine. yak the fuck. Actually, he doesn't out. do crack. That's the proletarian coke. He might. Eating Gucci loafers, which you're probably not. <laughs> but pause, this is the insanity. You know, remember? I remember most. Uh, oh god, again, those it's like are so bad. His tight fought. <laughs> Dude, honestly, I'm woke now. I'm so woke. I think comedy should be illegal. This kind of comedy should be illegal, okay? <laughs> that should be illegal. Not Why? Because, <laughs> and yes, it did trigger me, but not for the reasons that you think it triggered me for, okay? <laughs> you can't do that. He's a good at post. I mean, he does he make you want to do coke? I mean, the coke lobby is probably loving this. <laughs> no, he's really he's a good so post. Lame. He's out there. He's got energy. He looks dumb, but he's confident. I mean, that's what no cocaine shot, does for you. dude. I feel like... If I, if oh, I, shit. see, fact Lululemon check, as a uh, whole, excuse me, fact yeah. check, the whole bread aisle, man. Don Jr. Lululemon does have a lot of cake, though. If you know uh, what I'm saying? Right. They got a whole lot of ass in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They got the whole damn bakery. So yeah. that comes from the Trump family. Crowder is uh, making a break into the new vertical, the much sought after manosphere. In fact, he's brought on. Uh, the two great orators of our time, uh, Fresh and Fit, Coconuts and Barbados, to discuss the finer points of dating. Of course, coming from a guy who has never had a serious relationship in high school, Bro, college, or ever. It, it's it's so <laughs> stupid, dude. It's so... It's like fucking... Uh, it's like fucking and, asking a caveman about astrophysics. You know what I mean? It's like, right. you are the least qualified person to talk about this. <laughs> and, and I mean, Coconuts and Barbados, I don't even think you can consent to be in a relationship. <laughs> like, I can't get the... I can't get the behind the dome view on this, but it does seem like he got hair plugs. No? Yeah, he did. He did. Yeah, he ask him about, about that. It. Like, he could, he's more knowledgeable on that issue, I think. I think he's upfront about it. I think no, but I'm saying, it. like, that is an area of, of expertise for him, at least. Right. Not, like, how to have sex with women. I mean, if anybody sleeps with coconuts, they should probably be... <laughs> That's non-consensual sex act, as far as I'm concerned. Because he yeah. doesn't have the mental capacity <laughs> oh, to consent. Oh, you took it in a different direction. Never mind. He can't consent, and it's <laughs> fucked up. That he's yeah, even no, talking I saw about. where he was going. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. You, you were the only one. I had to spell it out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's here's the geniuses on Crowder. I think you need to be able to identify women that are promiscuous, and a way to do that is by sleeping with them. And I'll say this. To <laughs> <laughs> We gotta ID the sluts. Coconuts taking sleeping. it all in. Yeah, that's why that's why they're doing it. Except, you know, <laughs> I, I don't believe it. <laughs> The that, reason why it's sleeping with them versus just courting them and dating them is because that's a woman's main commodity. Like once you sleep with her, you've pretty much conquered that woman. Not to sound crazy, but you're you're you're, you're able not to, to identify sound the crazy. games. <laughs> yeah. Even Crowder was like, <laughs> Crowder "That's was a like, little no, nuts." That sounds yeah, crazy. It's a little nuts. Pretty much conquered that woman. Not to sound crazy, but you're you're you're, you're able bit. to identify the game. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> whoa! No, but, wait, go back. Yeah. What the fuck? He went mustache. I got. Wait. Whoa! 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 That's whoa. a woman's main commodity. Yeah. Like once you sleep with her, you've pretty much conquered that woman. Not to sound crazy, but you're you're you're, you're able bit. to identify. A little bit. <laughs> oh my god, bro, bro. <laughs> The mustache is supposed to be like a Tom Selleck effect, right? It made him look way gayer, dude. Well, he went in the other direction. Yeah, sometimes the mustache can go village, uh, the village people. What no, this is like, yeah, yeah. Uh, what is it, Tom of Finland? <laughs> yeah, my man is, my man's looking like a, like a, like a Tom of Finland uh, guy that went through like a, like an AI filter to make him look more pudgy. But you That's know, crazy. I, my, I got to tip the hat to Crowder a little bit. This is the guy who literally was on camera abusing his wife, and he goes, "Yeah, that's a little crazy." The fresh. Yeah, he's bit. dialing. He's dialing he goes, it back a little, a little bit. bit. And I was on camera abusing my wife. He's he's yeah. He's taking from grown, me. He's grown. He's learned from his mistakes by the games. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, no, I, but then it could also become, you know, this is where we would disagree, but I think it becomes yeah. a vicious cycle because then not wanting yes. women to have a high body count and you have a body count of 50, but it makes it, that's kind of what feminism. Like, he's try. they, they have to be nice to each other because they don't want to piss off the fan base. This man said, to find out if women are sluts, we have to sleep with them. And Crowder's like, well, you know, it doesn't make that much sense. Uh, you know, it's, a, it's like, if you sleep with them, then they're sleeping with people. Yeah, in any sane world, this guy who, like, positions himself as, like, a conservative, traditional Christian values guy should want nothing to do with Fresh and Fit, right? Right. Well, but. you have to remember something. Steven Crowder is on the record, like, being anti-sex. Right. He, he has written articles about... Uh, about how, oh my god, that's crazy. I'm sorry. What happened? Just, oh, Alfredo's so fucking cute. Oh. oh. He just, he just right. plopped over and just went, boop. Oh. It's sleepy time for him. I okay, get sorry, I just, uh, yeah, my ADHD got out of control there oh, for okay. a second. It's understandable. Can't stop looking at him now. And his little pink belly. <laughs> uh, here is Crowder. Well, he's waiting till the wedding night to get, to get laid. Yeah, Stephen Crowder's written articles about abstinence uh, uh, and how it's actually cool and good and sick and... Let's talk to Fresh and Fit today who say fuck women to find out if they're promiscuous. Yeah. Why, why, why not having sex might be good for you by Stephen Crowder. Is this about waiting for marriage or just being like abstaining? Yeah, abstinence. Abstinence only sex ed, abstinence only before but uh, he's, marriage. But he's saying once you're married, you, you're good. Yeah, I don't know how that tracks yeah. with like, uh, you know, once you're married, you're good. But like, what about what about fucking around? What about sleeping around when you are married? I don't know. What about showing your cock to all your homies? <laughs> no, that's just that's fine. That's just that's not brotherly that's love. Boys will be boys. That's, yeah. Um. <laughs> all right. Thank you to Crowder. Uh, it was predicated on. They go, well, men are doing this, so we should. And the truth is, it's not really, it's not good for anyone. But I understand what you're, wow. you're trying to say. This yeah. is the, the reality of the world we live in. Uh, hopefully, there's a. Hopefully there is a split the difference. You were, you were in law enforcement, right? Yeah. You were in law Let's enforcement. Let's split yeah. Do you ever get trained on how to spot a fake ID? Uh, it may not have been part of what you were doing, right? But No, we yeah. have like fraudulent documents, yeah. Yeah, so anybody that's trained on how to spot a fake ID studies the original. You don't study the fakes because that can change. You study the original so that you can understand and see when something is off. So I would disagree with you wholeheartedly on this. Saying, Bro, Look, this is, you all, this isn't a science experiment. It's a fucking, it's just dating. <laughs> You know what I mean? Just go find someone that you're compatible with and have fun, you know? You don't have to know how many people they fucked. Like, you just don't, you don't have to know that. You know? I love that the damn near entirety of the, you know, the male manosphere space is simply just, like, repackaging being an insecure loser as though it's actually a virtue and not a vice. True. Like... If you look at any of the commentary from the Manosphere, it's almost always just like, yeah, women are, they, they are, they're sleeping around. They might be having sex with people that are like way better at sex than you, and you're probably bad at sex, but like, <coughs> guess what? You know, that's, that's not on you. You shouldn't, you know, that, that personal emotional hangup that you have is actually their problem somehow. You know what I mean? It's just, it's ridiculous. But of course, there are plenty of insecure men out there, so... They want to be hug boxed. They want to feel good about themselves. And, uh, and, and they don't want to do it in a productive manner. They don't want to do therapy. So they just listen to these guys who lean into their biases. And um, they go along with it instead of re-examining what is the issue that makes them feel this way. Well, it's kind of the problem with all extremist groups since the internet came out. You have a group of people who in, before the internet, they were shunned. And people were like, you need to change. The world doesn't need to change. You're fucking weird. Now they all find each other online and they go, no, we're normal. There's a lot of us and we don't need to change. And this is what's happening. And the more isolated we become, the more alienated we become from our labor, but the more isolated we become oh, in a hyper atomized society. The labor. No, in a hyper atomized society. <laughs> put, put your aquifer on, okay? I did. Um, but yeah, the more isolated we become uh, in our increasingly atomized society, the more people want, uh, because we are social animals, we want a collective identity, right? <laughs> and it, in America, you can't do that on, on the basis of class. You can't do that in your workplaces. So you end up doing it over commodities that you consume and other cultural signifiers that say, you're a right winger, you know what I mean? Or, or personal emotional and moral hangups that you might have. 
So that is what's going on with the Manosphere. Is there's, there, there are always going to be people that feed on that vulnerability that you, that you experience, <laughs> that, you, that you have. Yo, the Manosphere. I love their song, The Manosphere. Yeah. yeah. M-A-N-O. And this is actually what you're talking about, Hassan. This is a bunch of, you know, working class boys people will be coming boys. together, being boys. You know? Yeah. Salt of the Earth. All American, kind of you know, electricians, cowboys, cops, gay bikers. You know what else? <laughs> Solidarity. <laughs> Native Americans. You know, it's, they're salt of the earth. You know what else is salty? What? It's what? not a good joke. I'm yeah, not going to say it. I know it. Yeah, I'm not going to. I'm not gonna say it. I, I have no idea what you were about to say, so let's just it's move on. I guess it's yeah. not that funny. It's for the best. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Somehow Dan can read my mind. <laughs> I just I, we've worked together too long. I guess. Oh, that's fucking funny. It wasn't funny. It wasn't that. It wasn't offensive. It just wasn't funny. It's not right? that funny. Yeah. 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 All right. Thank you. Moving on. McCarthy. Uh, McCarthy. Now, before we get into McCarthy's downfall. He was removed from speaker by Matt Gates and all of his freakazoid. Uh, never kevers. Would you excuse me? Never kevers. Um, yeah, that's us. Brave, bold. Uh, I'm a never kever. But they voted for him. They were a one-time. Well, the kever. entire Democratic Party voted for him. Too. Yeah, that's right. No, no, no. He yeah. voted in favor of him being speaker at one point. He was not. He was a for one moment a kever. Oh only yeah. Kever. I guess that is true. You can't technically. You're not wrong never about that. He's not a never kever. He oh, can't shit. claim that. You know, that's stolen valor. But, you know, it's compromise. Sometimes you got to do compromise, like the Democratic Party. What did the Democratic Party do this past week? Just like everyone always asks, reach across the aisle. <laughs> they found bipartisanship right. in removing Kevin McCarthy from the speakership <laughs> position. Absolutely. So to, to them, I applaud Big that. I am, I am also a centrist Democrat, a centrist mm -hmm. liberal, and also a never kever. And I think that it was wonderful and good that the Democratic Party held hands with Republicans in and unity, got this done. Unity, love, respect, and uh, in the interest of productivity as yeah. well. Yeah. So before we get into it, there's this really funny little side street about this guy, Jamal Bowman. Yes. He's a Democrat who, who okay, so... He ran on a more progressive platform than he actually... Is in my opinion in Bronx, and he is. Um, he he used to be a former principal. Um, Don't care about any of that. I mean, he's he's a he's an interesting guy. He's also actually yacked. No, like, no, no, no. He's so jacked. He no. fucking he really? does like three plates on the bed. Hassan, I don't care about any of that. This is what I care about. <laughs> he, the man pulled the fire alarm. <laughs> yes, he did during uh, Congress while they were. It was not during the vote, but before when they were... Leading up to the vote, he was trying to, to rush over there to vote for the clean resolution. He pulled the fire alarm. And he pulled the fire alarm. And I will defend him. Now, hold on, because there, there's a whole lot, like, what's going on here? So initially, people thought that he did it to delay a vote uh, to stopgap the bill during a yeah. time when Democrats were scrambling to read the bill. Okay, so so he people thought it was a delay tactic. Yeah. Okay. However, Bowman explains uh, something quite different. Here he is. Oh, he put out a statement here. Yeah. This is official. Well, part of, before the statement, uh, let's just say that the Republican media ecosystem took this as Jamal Bowman is a terrorist. I've got all those. <laughs> he is a January 6er. Right. Uh, he was trying to delay, uh, you know, uh, congressional... Like the congressional process in the same way that January Sixers did. You want to read this Trump? Yeah, uh, uh, sure. This Trump tweet. Will Congressman Jamal Bowman <laughs> be prosecuted and imprisoned for very dangerously pulling and setting off the main fire alarm system in order to stop a congressional vote that was going on in D.C.? His egregious act is covered on tape, a horrible display of nerve and criminality. <laughs> criminality. <laughs> It was a very dangerous obstruction of an official proceeding, the same as used against our J6 prisoners. <laughs> Actually, way, his act may have been worse. He must <laughs> suffer their same fate. When will his trial begin? Execute him. That's what yeah. I say. 
Here's Crowder. He, seg- he dedicated a whole segment to this. It was written by a four-year-old, just to be yeah. clear. <laughs> I, I, I just love it. Yeah, he was, gonna, he was trying to open the door, so he pulled this alarm, and it was confusing. Uh, of course, that, 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 that obviously, that dog won't hunt. It's really undeniable at this point. We've done it in the past, but we need to revisit this. Can we pause so much for a is, second? That dog won't I wanna, hunt. I want to explain something here. One. You ever heard that? That dog won't hunt? Yeah. I'm going to prime a song. Um, <laughs> I just want to point something here, okay? That door is normally open, okay? <laughs> that is a door that is normally open. <clears throat> they put those impromptu signs on top of it Hold that on. was like already confusing. Hold on, before you try yeah. to cut, before you try to acquit him, this is what the door looked like when he yeah, pulled it. Exactly. So if why looked, the fuck did he pull the fire alarm? <laughs> I think he mistakenly, while well, he was rushing over to the other, uh, rushing over to the other building. It was across the lawn on the other <laughs> side. What the fuck? He literally read the sign and because it says push until alarm sounds for three seconds. Door will unlock in 30 seconds. So he probably tried to push it. It didn't unlock. So he thought like, okay, if I pull the fire alarm, like the door will unlock. That's crazy though. Which is which, which is really dumb. Like make no mistake. Look but, at this. this but is that like... door is normally open, Ethan. It's okay, well, like, it wasn't today. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, though. It's like what it does what, the but, sign is confusing. I'll give you that. I, I, I don't know how. I, I don't push? think I ever would have arrived at the conclusion that I need to pull the fire alarm to open the door. No, I agree. push that until alarm sounds five seconds. I agree. Door I don't know why he didn't just like push seconds. the what? door. Yeah. What kind of emergency exit plan is that? Just wait here for thirty seconds, and it will probably open. Bro, <laughs> it's a very strange that's sign. That's fucked I don't up. Know what that means what kind yeah. of? That, that's not an emergency. And, and exit. also, it's exit. it's additionally strange considering that that door is not considered an emergency exit only, and it's just perfectly open on other, uh, in in other times throughout the day, and also other times throughout the week. So he's like, that's a door I take every time I go, you know. And and I don't know why the fuck it's not opening right now, but it probably isn't that big of a deal. Here, let me try to open it. Apparently, but they're, oh, go ahead. The go. other side of this is like they're trying to say he was trying to delay the vote, right? Trying to delay the fucking vote. Mm-hmm. Dog, the Democratic Party was already on board with voting for the clean resolution, and he literally went and voted for it. It's not like he won them any time. Like, the truth it, is that it did, he didn't gain anything from it. It was probably just a really bizarre fuck up. Uh, and it's just the whole story is very funny. Apparently, Crowder has a really, um, Spectacular racist rant about it. Fox and uh, there was a, a Fox and Friends lady who literally said they think they're above the law because I have that thing. because of, yeah, okay. So here, yeah. let's listen to Stephen Crowder and the yeah. other lady who's insane. This is time for uh, this week's installment of Jamal Bowman. What a piece of shit! Chill, man. You got a graphic, dude. Wait, why is Jamal Bowman a piece of it's shit? Not even a this funny, is part two, dude. It's not even a funny title. You're just angry. Part two. <laughs> Now, he did defend himself. I don't know if you guys saw. He said, yeah. I want to be very clear. This was not me in any way. Oh, he tried to, to deny it was vote. him? That was not me? Oh, trying to delay the vote. Okay. Oh, t- <laughs> <laughs> now, here's the thing. Wow. That oh, right away seems Jesus. like you're protesting too much, but then he goes on to say, it was the exact opposite. Ah. Hold on a second. So it was the opposite? So you were trying to really, really vote? <laughs> Again, the facts of the situation clearly... Yeah, that it was a mistake, and that he wasn't trying to. Uh, <laughs> like, like, what? What is the? What's their opinion on this? Like, what? They don't. You, need- why would he? Why would he try to delay the vote and not fucking vote for the v- thing that he voted for immediately after? They don't need to analyze it any further. You know what I mean? That this is enough for for the audience. But I mean, listen, it's embarrassing, and he definitely looks like a dumbass. So uh, <laughs> to me, that's enough. <laughs> he thought that was a lever. Yeah. I was trying urgently to get to a vote, which I ultimately did. All right. Come on now. Wow. Well, did he or didn't he? Now, to be fair, his defense, there were early reports that he did indeed smell smoke. I think that I think that there was a reason that they did it. Yeah. The tool man. All right. Never mind. Oh, geez. Tim. Oh, but Hunter's smoking crack. That's epic. All right. He does epic, smoke crack. It's an epic slam. Oh, makes sense. Fired. <laughs> Admonish yourself. Admonish yourself, Tim. Come on. You right that that, one, was a, right that one was timing reliance. Hunter smoking <laughs> crack. That was a good joke. And he was slow to admonish him. <laughs> All three of them. Yo, he's got like three sound guys, Zach. What's going on here? Nothing funnier 
than thinking about how all three of those dudes may or may not have seen Steven Crowder's dick or have like had <laughs> Steven Crowder's cock on their shoulder. Probably multiple times. Yeah. Do they do sound bites? It's kind of. Something like that. I mean, he's operating clowns. a TriCaster or whatever. Fucking clowns, bro. That's a high Throwing budget studio, this. though. Damn. Uh, it's oh, a nice yeah. board. They got, they got a nice place. They got a nice yeah. place. They even got that on air sign. That's fancy. We don't have one of those. Uh, we do, but you have to manually plug it in. <laughs> so we'll just never do it. We don't have the manpower. Yeah. I'm not doing it. I'm that. just lazy. I'm just saying I could I could challenge those guys. Three on one. Bring yeah, on. of course. Bring on fucking three on one. Obviously, look Sound at this. Sound battle. This operation is bloated. <laughs> He's very white. Yeah. Although he doesn't pay them, and he barely, he barely pays them, as I understand it. So, right. yeah, that's easy to get lots of labor and exploit it, baby. All type, <laughs> type one fibers. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't know why. That, so not, not funny. Me in any way talking? trying to delay the vote. It was the exact opposite of that. I was like, trying really, really hey, hard. Sir, <laughs> sir, oh no, not the accent. Are you stealing from this Walgreens? No, I wasn't what? Stealing don't worry. from this Walgreens. It looks like you have nine hundred and ninety-four dollars of merchandise. No. You're carrying out the door. It looks like you have eighteen dollars and forty-four cents worth of merchandise, sir. Nine hundred and ninety-four dollars. Like, why so specific? He's. I think he's just. I mean, he's saying like Jamal Bowman is black, so he's stealing from Walgreens. Right? That's, that's what he's trying to say. Yeah. Which, yeah. of course. Also, $994 of merchandise at Walgreens? Like, the fuck are you stealing, dude? <laughs> Brandon's America, folks. I got one, you know, one basket of eggs. It's $900. That, you know what? That's literally one packet of uh, yeah. baby food, actually. Yeah. It's yep. one tub of baby food. Fucked up, dude. Mm-hmm. Pay for it. Oh, this? No, this is the exact, it's the opposite of stealing. <laughs> I'm I was going to take it out so that I could pay for it out there, come back here, and buy it again. Why? How do you buy your pharmaceuticals? <laughs> no shot they think this is fun. <laughs> There's no shot. Right? There's two of them, man. They're both laughing. Where do I get these guys? <laughs> I need you, want, you want a pair of twins to uh, <laughs> I need a, chuckle at everything Yes, you man, two of them. Gallery. Okay. I take three of them, fuck. <laughs> triplets. <laughs> Call them peanut and gallery. That makes no sense. Are you a racist? <laughs> All right, just steal the shit. It's the dumbest argument I've ever heard. I pulled a fire alarm because I didn't know how to work a door. It has a sign on it. That yeah, he's an idiot. That's the point. Okay, whatever. Dumbasses. Uh, let's watch this, um, the Fox one you were mentioning here. Oh, wait, no, this is... Okay, here. A Jamal Bowman fire alarm stunt was criminal and, un and unethical. So why isn't he being charged? Chernos wanted to go away. That's right. Bury they're the burying the story, man. It's crazy. And, and they're burying the story by collaborating with Matt Gates to unseat Kevin McCarthy so that people talk about that instead of Jamal Bowman's criminal actions. Go away! <laughs> He should be executed. No. Thank you very much. Uh, we know you've got to go. Otherwise, right. somebody's going to pull the fire uh, Actually, alarm. just one last thing. We have 20 <laughs> seconds. Uh, what are you going to do? Nicole Maliotakis wants uh, Bowman, Congressman Bowman, out. Are you going to support his ouster? Well, first of all, we're going to go through the investigation. What's really interesting, this is a former principal. He you're not going to do shit because you're not even the fucking speaker anymore, <laughs> dumbass. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a free agent in his own words. Mm-hmm what a fire alarm is. This is a man that has gone out and yelled at members and his behavior He's has like, been unbecoming. This man is the most experienced with fire alarms, okay? He was a principal. <laughs> oh shit, that's actually a good point. That is a good point. That man was a principal and he doesn't know what the fuck a fire alarm does? I don't buy it. <laughs> yeah, dude, he was trying to delay the vote, that's, dude. That's so not a did. bad point. <laughs> If it re really was just an accident, when the Capitol Police came to interview you, why would you lawyer up right away? Yeah. Why? Because well, he's smart. Smart. Yeah. <laughs> he works in government. Man knows. Hello? Yeah. What the fuck? Why yeah. would you? What? Of course you fucking lawyer up when cops talk to you. What do you mean? What? What always, the fuck? Always, always. It's that's literally awesome. the smartest thing you can do, okay? Yeah. Even if you are innocent, okay? Dude, that's awesome that he said that. Anyone that lawyers up is clearly guilty. That's the best. I love that. <laughs> not not Trump, though. Not Trump. Yeah, how many Trump? How not many Trump. Lawyers he has like a, what, a thousand lawyers? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I made a mistake here. Why would you let it go on? What do you, you know, believe Everybody happens? knows. What do you really let it go happen? on? You know how to get to They're the making it seem yeah. like this, this like think? minor mishap even stopped the process for any amount of time when it literally didn't, okay? Right. Like... 
The funniest thing is the much large. The reason why this story got buried, even though we're we're rehashing it because it's so funny, is because the much larger, more important thing that he was supposedly trying to quote unquote delay happened immediately after. So of course that was the much larger, more important thing, which was voting in the clean resolution uh, bill, which they all did, including Jamal Bowman. Right. It's not even a benefit to delay that process. Like, why the fuck would he do that? Uh, yeah. Love them. I think he knew this was all Oh, purpose. everybody. If you know this individual, everybody knows. And if you've been a principal, you've had fire alarms and you've had children pull <laughs> fire alarms. It's, it's, and they, and you know what happened to those kids? They were put to death as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, so that's a fun little wrinkle that's been happening. Oh, yeah. George Santos, my boy, says it's treason. Yes. I can't believe how much that piece of shit lucked out. Like, everybody kind of forgot about everybody his insane amounts of lies and, and uh, because, like, so much has happened now in Congress. It, it blows my mind that he's just, he's just carrying on, like, not, like nothing. Yeah. It's, a, it's incredible. Oh, no, this is the one that because I want. Because American Congress is a fucking clown show. I'm actually happy that people are finally coming to terms with that reality, especially the House of Representatives. Because, like, like, look at... I mean, you got... In the Senate, you have Bob Menendez, okay? In the House of Representatives, you have Matt Gates, who has an ethics uh, investigation conducted on his uh, improper dealings with a minor, sex trafficking of minors, potentially... There was an active federal investigation on it, which they suspiciously dropped, which he literally asked for a pardon from Donald Trump on uh, before the investigation was even concluded. Uh, you know, it's just these guys are all insane. They're all out of control and they can kind of get away with whatever the fuck they want because there's always a new thing happening in the fucking carnival, you know? But this guy, I mean, he just, he's such a fucking phony. The man has no credentials. Anyway, here he is doing a sassy little <laughs> uh, tutorial about fire alarms, which I like. I enjoyed it. Congressman George Santos, this here is a fire alarm. That suit is awesome. If you lift this part here and pull this down, you trigger an alarm. Don't do it. Stay good, kids. Bro, aren't you the guy that stole <laughs> money from like an animal shelter and and like from vets? Anim- or from <laughs> he he vets? stole yeah. someone's dog. Yeah, do, do, don't tell me about fire. <laughs> Literally alarms, stole bro. a dog, dude. Why is he not in jail? I mean, honestly. He stole someone's dog? <laughs> he just took their animal? A homeless vet's dog. No, he, he, he got it. He denied it the treatment. What do you mean he stole? He didn't, took, he, didn't he take it to some treatment center and then, and then didn't give it back or something? No. Am I, I don't think he stole it. No, I don't think so. Uh, that that just I apologize. He's funnier. not a dog napper. He's just... Yeah. That's just, just a weird. normal con, man. Okay, so moving on. Uh, that's one funny little tangent. Moving on, we've got uh, Kev Kev. Kev Kev. A lot um, of people just hate to see a, a, a Latinx <laughs> man win, you know? Right. That's why they're hating on George Santos and Bob Menendez. Also, he's a Holocaust survivor. Or his grandmother was a Holocaust survivor. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. Uh, Zach is pointing out that he owns the same suit as uh, George Santos. You look much better in it. Thank you. Know? you. And just want to look at the watch, yeah, if you want to. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's hard to tell from the... He's yeah. got George yeah. Santos' whole house oh, on his wrist. Wait, <laughs> wait, you have two watches on? What's the other cuff? Oh, it's a bracelet. Oh, it's a bracelet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See. But uh, yeah, great uh, Ralph Lauren suit. Macy's on sale. <laughs> yeah, you went boss mode. He <laughs> was definitely giving car salesmen more than uh, than you were. Uh, so that's also the uh, Lego Lou suit, so mm. he's bricked up. Brick, bricked up. up. So let's see. We are... Um, the vote was cast 216 to 210. The first time the speaker's been removed ever. Yeah. Here's the eight Pretty Republicans cool. that voted with the, the UK day. now. Oh, yeah, that- we do have we do have a lot of like weird procedural hurdles <clears throat> now, like European social democracies and none of the amenities of a European social democracy. Yeah. Like no adequate public transit. Oh my god, the guy on the top right looks like fat Asmongold. gold. What the fuck? Nice to I it. never had yeah. seen that before. Huh. What's happening there? Is that Asmongold? Interesting. So our, this is the eight <laughs> Republicans that voted to uh, impeach or remove him. traitors. And so are people, people they got to be pissed at these guys, right? Uh, the Republicans? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, for sure. Uh, Fox News has been uh, bullying them and criticizing them a lot. Um, and, and you know, it, it makes sense. They are quite literally showing the American population that at a time when, like, they're supposed to be uh, circling the wagons, preparing for... Uh, you know, preparing for this for this national race that's about to happen in the general election against like um, against Joe Brandon, uh, who is historically unpopular. They're having all this back and forth that helps the Democratic Party a lot. Yeah, because people hate <clears throat> people hate process in America. If you want to if you want to get something done, it doesn't matter. You could like I'm not even kidding. You could institute a nationalized healthcare system tomorrow if you got it done in like under 76 hours. Obviously that would never happen. But the longer you hold out, the more back and forth and the more deliberations happen in the legislative side, the more people get annoyed at it, the more time you have to like set up uh you know lies about how, you know, Obamacare is going to create death panels and stuff like that, which they did at the time. And uh Americans hate that. They they already hate Congress and they hate when it's gridlocked. Uh, they hate this kind of back and forth. So I'm glad that the Republicans are doing it now yeah. instead of the I mean, Democrats they look horrible. doing it. Yeah, they look, they just look like such fucking idiots. It's awesome. Here's the minute he got fired. Uh, let's I'll get the look on his face. On this vote, <clears throat> the yeas are 216. The nays are 210. The resolution is adopted. Without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table. The Office of Speaker of the House of the United States House of Representatives is hereby declared vacant. Boom. And then the floor falls out under Kevin. <laughs> on this vote, the trapdoor. Is he in the room? Yeah, he's in the room. Yeah, well, yeah. I want to yeah, see his voted. face. Oh, uh, they, didn't, they didn't cut to him. Which did he vote for? <laughs> <laughs> um... The motion to vacate uh, the speaker's position was led by Gates, as we know, and these other Republicans. Now everyone's pissed at them. The reason, you know, I thought the Democrats might cut a deal with him, but there's some really interesting stuff that led up to it. For example, the Sunday morning before the vote, he went on Fox News and just fucking lied uh, or faced the nation. Is that Fox News? I don't know. Uh, face the nation. Face the nation. Uh, it's not Fox News. It's CBS. No. Yeah, CBS. I mean, and so he's like, no, the CBS Democrats ABC. want the shutdown. And then everyone's like, dude, fuck this guy. Most of in the press probably thought we would have shut down yesterday too, but no, we did, did not. Were you confident we wouldn't shut down? I was confident I could get something on the floor to make sure the option that we would not. But that you our sure military. It was pass. Well. Well, I wasn't sure it was going to pass. You want to know why? Because the Democrats tried to do everything they can not to let it pass. They did Democrats dilatory. were the ones who voted did you, for this. Did you watch? Did you watch? Can you pause for a second? This is the reason why. Um, this is the reason why he's just such a bad politician, and Nancy Pelosi would never. Okay, as much as I hate Nancy Pelosi, she's a, a great politician. She's very good at, at her job, which is oftentimes doing bad policy. Kevin McCarthy, uh, this is the speculation inside of the Democratic Party, at least. Kevin McCarthy did not realize that the Democrats would just drop the Ukraine funding <laughs> immediately because they recognize something that he doesn't. Ukraine funding is bipartisan. Mm -hmm. Ukraine funding is packaged under military industrial complex appropriations, which will always pass. Okay. So, of course, they don't give a shit about adding it on the fucking clean resolution. Like, they'll make a big stink about it. They want to put it through. They want to push it immediately. But they're, they're, they could just hold out and do it later as a separate spending package. Because ultimately, that's always going to pass. Because red states also have Raytheon, Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, and other facilities that produce some of these weapons that want this kind of uh, spending to happen. Mm -hmm. Right? So... Yeah, they all immediately voted for the clean resolution. They were like, okay, fine. Yeah, no Ukraine spending. All right, got it. Fine, fair. Let's go. He thought that they wouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. He thought that the Democratic Party would hold out and say, no, we are going to not pass a clean resolution that we had formerly uh, negotiated on to begin with. 
uh, uh, for the next uh, and and you know solidify a position for the next forty five days. Uh, unless the $20 billion Ukrainian uh, uh, funds package was also tacked onto it. He was wrong. They, they collectively <clears throat> voted on it. Of course they did. So, that was his major <clears throat> issue. Right. He thought that they wouldn't vote for it. That's why he's saying that right now. He's like, oh, the Democrats are holding up process. Like, no, they fucking weren't, idiot. They all voted for it. I mean, to, she does a good job of checking it. resolution huh? alive. Did you watch 19, the floor yesterday? Oh, yes. Okay. The, the Republicans voted against it. Did okay. you watch the floor yesterday? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, cool. Then, yeah, you're right. Um, so he went on the night before the vote and tried to blame the Democrats, which I think pissed everyone off. And then the other thing he did which was interesting, is that he called up the Democrats and specifically said, hey, just so you know, I'm not, I'm not willing to give I you anything. From Democrat. No talks, no nothing. Vote for me because it's the right thing to do. Oh, yeah, I love There's this part. all over the floor. <laughs> Speaker, what are the Democrats asking for? As, as, as you try to build support, I imagine, from Democrats in this case, I imagine they're going to try to drive a hard bargain. You know what? They haven't asked for anything. I'm not going to provide anything. And let's just be clear. Oh, okay. Uh, when Nancy <laughs> Pelosi was the minority leader, she would always come in and she told Boehner and, and Paul uh, that she didn't believe in them utilizing this, how they removed Boehner, that she would always vote it down, not based upon saving an individual, but based upon what's good for government. What's well, that didn't work mm. out for you, did it, Dumb? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. I can't believe the Democrats showed backbone for the first fucking time ever. It's, it's almost like it is literally, uh, and Osita Nwanebu had a really good take on this, like, Democrats exercising backbone and doing, like, literal, actual good politics, which is what the Republicans do all the fucking time and it's expected from them, is, is so shocking. It's true, I didn't to, expect to it. To the Republican <laughs> Party that they're like, it might as well be unconstitutional. They're like, <laughs> what? No, you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to protect the institutions, right? Like, you're supposed to, 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 to follow process. Well, what are you doing? You can't unseat the speaker. What? That's never happened before. It's like, dog, you literally didn't even offer concessions to conservative Democrats, okay? That's why they came out of that caucus. Yeah. And Akeem Jeffries was like, yeah, we're not going to fucking uh, save him. What are you, out of your mind? I'm no fan of Hakeem Jeffries, Okay. This is Nancy Pelosi's guy, all right? He is openly anti-progressive, but he did good politics there, okay? Uh, we do not agree on policy. We usually don't agree on politics, but he did good politics. <laughs> Democrats did the right thing in the situation, and it was shocking for the fucking GOP. They were I like, agree. what? It's a good thing to see, man. Like, I, I did not expect it at all. And it's, it's so insane because the <laughs> psychopaths on the, the article side of liberal mainstream media at the New York Times and at the fucking Daily Beast and all these conservative fucking losers are now cutting articles about how the Republican Party is imploding. Here is why it's the Democratic Party's fault for not saving Kevin McCarthy. And it's so stupid because, yeah, Kevin McCarthy is more moderate than Steve Scalise or whatever kind of fucking psychopathic vampire they're going to put into that position, right? Certainly. But it doesn't matter because he never legislated in that direction anyway. He never offered any concessions to the Democrats. Just because he's supposedly more moderate doesn't change the reality that it doesn't matter if it's fucking Steve Scalise or Kevin McCarthy. You're still opening up an impeachment inquiry into Joe Biden without any evidence whatsoever. You're still holding up legislation. Like, you're not, you're not doing a different job than the most right-wing speaker uh, would. You're just doing the same fucking job. Yeah. Um, fuck yeah, dude. The Good expectation the that the Democrats were supposed to save the Republicans without a single line item, without a single concession, is so psychotic unless you operate under the notion that the Democratic Party is supposed to be the controlled opposition party who just fucking sits there and eats shit and defends it, this, like, theoretical, supposedly moderate Republican... Uh, a party it's so dumb it's pretty incredible how smug he is about like oh they're gonna vote to keep me don't you worry i'm not gonna offer them shit bye bye dummy institution as a whole and that's the question has to be are, are we now in a situation in our government that Love we this. just provided keeping government open that we're going to play politics with how you become speaker. Dumbass. If that's the case, then I think we've got real problems. Yeah, no shit. We got problems, bro. You know, I mean, what the fuck? Now you care about procedure and shit? <laughs> Dumbass. Loser. Bye.
moron. Idiot. Like, the saddest part about this for the Democrats is that if Kevin McCarthy went to more conservative House of Representatives, uh, Democrats in the House of Representatives, he probably could have secured enough votes Definitely. Yeah. that, like, he needed, like, eight guys. Yeah, you know eight. what I mean? You don't have fucking eight dudes. Easily. To defend you in the House of Representatives on the, on the Democratic side, you absolutely have those guys. Yeah. Okay? But he didn't because he was like, yeah, it don't matter. It don't matter. They, they will vote to defend me because I think he, they, they're his, pussies. His play was like, if I cut a deal, I'll look bad. So I'm confident I'm going to win without it. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to. Yeah, his original play was the Democrats won't vote for the clean resolution because he's just not a good politician. That's it. He's from Bakersfield, man. Yeah. Big, he's from big L over, yeah. overall to just have a I mean, dude from Bakersfield be the Speaker of the House, no like second in line to, of the president. To our, to our friends in Bakersfield, but I mean, come on. No, all disrespect. <laughs> Here is, um, this, this video cracked me up. He was named the uh, temporary speaker, and here he is adjourning the House, and boy, he was waiting for this moment for that gavel, man. He was dreaming of this moment. Watch, oh, you think this. the DeSantis height stuff is bad? Really? Look up this... Look up this man's uh, mishaps on that really? front. Woo, he's oh. like 5'3". Let's like, go. Does he have boots, like crazy boots and stuff? No, he stands literally on a crate when he gives oh. interviews. Well, that's fair. I mean, he... It, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's fair. He wants to, you know... At least he's up front about it. Yeah. Anyway, here he is. Chair declares the House in recess subject to the call of the chair. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell if he was pissed or if he's just... Oh, he's pissed. He's just excited. Dude, that's Kevin Giga McCarthy's pissed. guy. That's his boy. Oh, it is. Yeah. That's his boy. He's like, they did him dirty. I don't chair believe it. I'm going to slam chair. this hammer down. <laughs> just like it's meant to be done. <laughs> Fucking pissed, man. Chair declares the house for recess. Fucking yam that shit. To the call of the chair. <laughs> Chair declares a I One of the funniest things that they did was immediately in the interim, like pro tempore speaker... Went and like uh, took away uh, uh, St uh, Stoyer and uh, Nancy Pelosi's like uh, room in the Capitol, like they because they have the took that's her, what you can do office. with the Speaker of the House, like their offices. Yeah, they immediately were like, "We're rekeying you, we're kicking you out, bro." Nancy Pelosi wasn't even there. She didn't even fucking vote for or against Kevin McCarthy. She was at fucking Diane Feinstein's funeral. Right. So like, you know. That that's it, it. Just goes to show it's all spite. It's all fucking petty. They're like, yeah, fuck you guys. We'll show you. You no longer have an office. True. <laughs> I mean, the, I mean, damn. You expect you don't expect these people to be such so childish and such like petty losers. Oh, I uh, I one hundred percent expect it. But they are catty little bitches. <laughs> and and the best we need part a reality about show, it, man. The best part about this is that like none of this fixes. The internal struggle, the intraparty struggle in the GOP, they still have the same issues. Are they leaning into the culture warriors that want to obstruct for the sake of obstruction without uh, any punishment whatsoever? You are a policyless party at this point. Your your goal is just death and destruction, and you constantly have to push the boundaries. You constantly have to push the boundaries. The Democrats aren't giving you anything to fight against. So when you're the one leading the charge on policy and your main goal is to deregulate and, and just like remove civil liberties, people are going to understandably get mad at that, mm -hmm. like Roe v. Wade. So they are in this spiritual struggle where they just have to figure out which direction they go in. Like, do we become even more fascist? Or do we dial it back? Do we rein it in? If we rein it in, then, you know, we're no different than the Democrats in general. Oh, no, not Yang. Oh, yeah. Here, here's his... We used to love Yang. Oh, I never did. I Yang. fucking shit on him from the jump. I loved him. He was my favorite. <laughs> uh, friend of the show, actually. Or what? Well, yeah, he's a friend of the show. Sure. But here he is with a... Really moronic take. If you put politics, uh, political gain ahead of country's interests, which is the norm in D.C., we are lost. Shut the fuck up. 
he's basically making exactly the argument that uh, Hassam is articulating some people making earlier. Yeah, because is, it's it's just not fair. It's like the Republicans get to do whatever the fuck they want, yeah. and then the Republicans have to be uh, the Democrats have to be the adults. It's like, nah. hey, hey, dog, how about you shut the fuck up? How about you win an election one time? Okay, True. suck my dick. I don't want to hear your fucking analysis, dude. This is look. Why? Why do we do this? Why do we have all these fucking losers giving opinions on what to do, especially when they're like, you're not even a politician. You've never done any politics. True, he's never even been elected. You're a fucking two-time loser. Get the hell out of here. I don't want to hear from <laughs> but your like, fucking... But it's, it's not good politics because what's good politics is just, you know, passively uh, enabling the Republicans to do whatever the fuck they want every goddamn time. That's do not, not good politics. When your loser. enemy is making a mistake, do not interrupt them. That's it. Right. Sun Tzu. He said that shit. Yeah, he was right. The fuck are you doing? Here. Sides, frankly. This is a loss for the country. Uh, and Laura's list had Ukraine aid number one. Imagine if you were one of the U.S.'s partners uh, around the world or Ukraine itself. Uh, his title is former Democratic presidential candidate. That's accurate. Yeah. That's not that Jake illustrious. Uger. I, you're right, yeah. Jank really Uger, not. Former Democratic U.S. president. I mean, <laughs> former Democratic presidential candidate, Jank Uger. I mean, how yeah, how hard is it to become a presidential candidate? Anyone can do it. I could be it's a just former. paperwork. Let's do that. Let's do that, Dan. I want to become a presidential candidate so I can have that title. Uh, former Democratic mm -hmm. presidential candidate Ethan Klein. That's sick. <laughs> Same. Dude, let's do the paperwork. What part? You want to run in the forward party? Andrew Yang could probably uh, sign you up. No, I want to do a Democrat. I want this title. Okay. Yeah, I want this title. I'll uh, I look into that, I guess. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> hey, guys, uh, we're, we're fighting Russia here, and then you see that aid to your military falls into this abyss of American dysfunction. Uh, I mean, our debt got downgraded just the other day, and you think if your uh, ratings agency right now... It's like it's the both sides fence-sitting bullshit. Hey, come on, can't we all work together, guys? That's why he's the Come on, party. man. You know? He's not left or right. He's I'm not forward, saying man. one's better, one's worse. I'm just saying, can't we all work together? I love this because, like, it's just a less successful Democratic Party. Like, I, I, it, it just doesn't make any sense. It's, none of his... I mean, he doesn't even have any, like, real policy positions, but, like, <laughs> even the vibes he's putting out <laughs> is just, like... It's just more Democratic Party. Like, it already exists out there. You can just vote for one of the two if that's your goal. Right. Damn, that's cold-blooded. We need to pass a budget for hemming pants. That's cold-blooded, man. Yeah. Do you think he brought the milk crate or someone else did? Staffer. Staffer. Probably carries, carries it around. Everywhere. Yeah, got in Probably. the trunk. Wow. I'm the <laughs> milk crate guy. Some fucking Cousin Greg-looking six-foot-seven staffer that just graduated from Yale and is, like, related to fucking Henry Kissinger somehow has to lug that crate around for this guy <laughs> everywhere they go. Here is McCartney, McCarthy right after he was fired, crying. I'm so sad. My goals have not changed. My ability to fight is just in a different form. Huh. Nope. You need to. Yeah, more like the, the ethereal form, <laughs> that it doesn't yeah. exist. The spiritual realm. He's, right? he's so bitch made. It's, it's <laughs> funny because, like, one, he's not popular, okay? And the speakership role is like, you have to, you have to be a diligent whip. Like, you have to be able to whip your votes. You have to be able to control all matter of different caucuses. Like, Nancy Pelosi was so fucking good at that. I, as much as I, actually, part of the reason why I hate Nancy Pelosi is literally because she was so fucking good at that and did it in uh, with the most neoliberal positions you could arrive at, like Pago and things of that nature. And and Kevin McCarthy cannot do that. Like, he just was not capable of doing that. The Speaker of the House is a very important role, probably one of the most important roles in Congress, and it's one that actually requires you to be charismatic uh, to the to your own caucus, obviously, and it requires you to, like, actually do work. Well, third in line, you yeah. know, you second know. in line technically, yeah. But you're, I, I made that same mistake because there's a VP is first in line. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, I, 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 I did the exact same first. thing. First. Yeah, he's first. Um, but you know what's interesting is because the the Republicans are talking about getting Trump to be a speaker, which is awesome, dude. That's just two uh, two accidents away from Trump being back. Yeah. So there's that part of the. The, there's that part of the craziness, because, like, 
obviously, you know, Joe Brand is not going to take much to fucking assassinate Joe Brandon. Let's be real. Like he's already fucking on his way out. Um, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> Someone's going to spook him. <laughs> he's going to be like, ah, and then he, he's going to perish. But, um, but, uh, the, the other re the real reason why I want Trump to be speaker so bad and I, you can't, unfortunately there's a rule that the Republicans implemented. I think that like, you can't have a felony indictment to be speaker of the really? house. We got to get rid of that. Yeah, yeah. They uh, they can. Um, I looked into that a little bit, and it would basically just be like a vote in their caucus. Yeah, we'll to get repeal that. Yeah, yeah. So. I like they go. They go. Fuck this it. law is so important. Here, here it is. This law. Is yeah, so rule twenty six. And then they go. Oh, no, we don't need that law right now. I don't. I wonder if that was a Dennis Hastert rule. Like it was two thousand two. I think I read that that was initially. Wait. Put oh, in. so it, it is. The, uh, wait. Yeah, so it, it was Hastert in by then? Speaker. Hastert. Of the House. Yeah, I think in the... Yeah, 2007 is when he got out. Yeah, 99 to 2007. Yeah, so yeah this that is might have been a fucking... That might have actually been a Dennis Hastert rule because the the... I, I forget where I read this, but uh, so for those of you at home who do not know who Dennis Hastert is, Dennis Hastert is the longest running, still to this day, Speaker of the House of uh, uh, Speaker of the House of Representatives. Uh, he also is one of the most prolific pedophiles I was look, in I American Congress. I was going to say that dude's a pedophile. I'm sure of it, but yeah. you guys always get mad at me when I oh, say no. that. No, no, no. He is. He's a but convicted I didn't know pedophile. That. <laughs> so I was like, that guy's a pedophile. I'm yeah. sure of it. So the idea was that yeah. the reason why they wanted Dennis Hastert and the reason why he was so, uh, the reason why he was able to be the Speaker of the House of uh, Representatives for so long was because internally Republicans were aware of his uh, sexual deviancy, criminal acts, mm -hmm. and that they could use that to control him. Oh, and I, I would, I would suspect that that rule probably was mm. like, uh, was a was like a, a rule that they put in place because they were like, well, if if you if you don't uh, if you don't do something we want you to do, if you don't put forward a bill that we want you to pour, put forward, for example, you know, we'll just fucking hit you with the. Damn, that's crazy. I wonder if that's probably the only time that they ever did that use sexual blackmail to uh, control Congress. Yes, yeah, right? certainly that's never happened. Yeah, that's probably just the one off. Since then, that's like it's not happening right now. Sure. Well, one other one other uh, spicy drama uh, uh, inside baseball uh, moment is uh, Matt Gates apparently is very upset at McCarthy for not standing. Uh, against and stopping an active ethics investigation being conducted into Matt Gates, which was being conducted before there was a federal investigation into Matt Gates, uh, whose best friend is currently in jail for sex trafficking minors. What? He's in prison for 11 years, mm -hmm. uh, which Matt Gates was also investigated for, which was suspiciously dropped by the federal government. So then the ethics committee investigation restarted again. He wanted Kevin McCarthy to stop yeah. that investigation. Uh, and Kevin McCarthy was like, I can't stop it because it started before I was even the speaker of the house. Like right. it would be illegal for me to stop an ethics investigation. What the fuck are you talking about? So that was one of the reasons why Matt Gates hates Kevin McCarthy is what I've heard. So is that still happening? Why is Gates? Yes. It is yeah. still happening. Yeah. Yeah. So here is, um, here he is actually talking about a uh, Gates. Not a conservative. And look, you all know Matt Gates. <laughs> You know, it was personal. It had nothing to do about spending. It had nothing to do about everything he accused somebody of he was doing. It all was about getting attention from you. Shut up! I mean, <laughs> we're getting email fundraisers from him as he's doing it. That's pretty iconic, if true. Join in quickly. Oh, I believe it. Yeah, why yeah, wouldn't I believe it? Yeah. There's no way Kevin McCarthy doesn't do that, too. I mean, it's... Yeah, everybody... Like, Democrats Trump do it, too. That, They're like, yeah. hey, uh, hey, sorry, uh, sorry to hit you up right now, but do you hate that all these babies died in the school? Um, you should give us money. <laughs> so no, we, this mass shooting was super tragic. Yeah. We're the only ones that can help prevent it. Yeah. <laughs> can you please give us money? <laughs> That's true, huh? That's not governing. That's not becoming of a member of Congress. And regardless of what you think, I've seen the text. It was all about his ethics, but that's all right. So, so he's kind of doing something interesting here. He says, I've seen the text. Is that he's referring to some evidence that's been in the... 
Well, mm -hmm. there's Wait, some does other. He say it's all about his ethics. Yeah, he says that investigation. I think he's all signaling. Yeah. Well, and we'll see. There's a uh, a couple other uh, Republicans that are pissed at Gates that have started to. Uh, Spill the tea, as it were. So wait, where do you see that? Uh, here. Um, it's in the reaction section from Let establishing them Republicans are fight. out of the blood. Let uh, a them bunch of these fight. Actually. Charlie Kirk kind of implied it on his stream. Wait, uh, let me watch Benny Boy. I'm surprised these guys are fucking... Oh, dude, are <laughs> so you kidding me? You? This, this is I mean, such a f major fuck up. Tim Poulos is supporting... Yeah, uh, Tim Pool's fucking dummy. Who gives a shit the, the, what Tim Pool has to say? Ben Shapiro at least is like relatively sane. And I mean, that doesn't mean much, but like <laughs> Ben Shapiro understands that like that this is bad. That you have to fucking have like a, a, a reasonable, organized Republican Party that like at least somehow wins <sighs> elections because we're not at that stage of fascism yet where you could just like do whatever the fuck you want. Oh shit! You still need to like win at state legislatures. You still need to be able to court pack, and in order to do that, you still have to hold a majority in the House and also in the Senate. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. for court appointments, you mm -hmm. need to do that. And so he wants a a reasonable Republican Party, or at least a Republican Party that wins. This is a something competent. that the Republican Party was very good at. The wedge issues that they created uh, were, were created with the express purpose of driving uh, division in the, in the voting uh, population so that they could separate themselves from the Democrats, even though they're pretty unified when it comes to tax cuts for the wealthy, uh, some, some moderate regulation, uh, deregulation versus major deregulation, right? Like, they're in the margins there, so they had to go into the wedge issues, talk about, like, uh, gay rights, talk about trans rights, talk about abortion, talk about gun control. Um, and and if, if you are so lost in the sauce in the culture war, if you've become a full-blown culture warrior, all of a sudden Americans are going to start going, eh, it's a little bit too much for me. Right. And, and it, this is it's bearing kind of, itself out yeah. in the elections as well, in the midterms. It's awesome that they're covering it so much because... That's how people really find out about it, too. You know. Sure. But by the way, in the top... Fox News has been shitting on Matt Gates. Love that. Yeah, yeah because uh, Republicans are understandably very mad that this dude is like playing the role of a spoiler. You're not supposed to obstruct uh, the Republicans. You're supposed to obstruct uh, the Democrats. Right. What does it mean that two of the top comments on this video are quotes of Thomas Sowell? Huh? Isn't that the guy who said Obama uh, compared Obama to Thomas Sowell to uh, Supreme Court of the United States Justice Clarence Thomas's favorite thinker who like red pilled him? This was the guy that um, Just Pearly Things was citing. Yes, about. he's every racist's favorite black conservative. <gasps> yeah, he's the guy. Oh, he's totally was he the guy. slavery wasn't that bad? Or yeah, what, like what yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. Many other, among okay. many other things. Yes, the, the <laughs> slavery was was exaggerated. <laughs> Welfare destroyed black communities, not the criminal justice system. <laughs> so um, many, so many beautiful. Look how they loved it. it. The top comment. Thomas Sowell also said that one of the uh, problems politicians have is that they pay no price for being wrong. We need to kill him. No. Uh, clearly, that's what he means. I mean, he's right, though. Thomas Sowell, I can't believe I'm saying this, or that commenter is right. Politicians, especially on the Republican Party, do not pay a price for doing the wrong thing. And, um, and this is a legitimate problem, especially in the Republican Party, because the Republican base uh, is, is so geared towards, like, ruining congressional process and i don't mean this is like a january 6 joke i mean literally like that's what they've been doing since <laughs> Mitch mcconnell too. has been uh uh the the senate leader they've just been obstructing 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 and th when they realize that in a extremely polarized two-party system that we now have because uh there aren't any like regional differences there's no geopolitics happening in american congress anymore like it did in like even the 50s and 60s, different states had different interests, right? We don't have that anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, you have two different parties. If you're a Republican uh, in the North or in the South, you have the same interests. If you're a Democrat in the North or the South, you have the same interests. Mm. So Mitch McConnell tested out this theory that if he obstructed every single thing mm. that Barack Obama was trying to push forward, and uh, uh, he would not get punished by the base. Mm -hmm. And he didn't. And since then, this is all they've ever done. They rarely ever pass any bills. They they actively undermine, uh, you know, the Democrat in positions of power and their legislative agenda. 
And of course, if that is your main goal and your base is not punishing you for doing that, sometimes the obstructionist party is going to be obstructed by another person in their own ranks. Mm -hmm. Let's see how Ben is apparently pissed. That the GOP had pretty much every systemic advantage going into 2024. They had a deeply unpopular president True. of the United States with approval ratings in the high 30s, low 40s. True. A, a president of the United States with approval ratings on the economy in the 30s or 20s. What if I told you that the GOP had an economic edge on the issues that is their biggest since 1991? True. Well, what if I told you that going into the election, there was a very solid shot that Joe Biden's economic policies were going to drive America directly into a recession? Well, all of those things are true. All of those things are that true. Part I don't and yet, know. Maybe. somehow, Republicans have come up with a brand new strategy. This strategy <laughs> is to join in idiocracy. It's a movie from the 2000s. Join in the idiocracy show, Al My Balls. This is their actual strategy. is just to kick themselves over and over in the balls until they win. True. I, I cannot see any other strategy here. <laughs> I, I don't know why it's happening. It makes no sense to me. It is incredibly frustrating because I would like to see <laughs> Joe Biden not be president of the United States. I'd like to see Democrats not make policy for the United States. I'd like Chuck Schumer not to be the Senate Majority Leader. And yet since Republican victory in 2016, Republicans have lost something like 11 governorships. Republicans... All right. He's so right. He's he is reading the Republican Party of the Filth because... Pretty clearly there. Because he's he? right. Nikki Haley is also right whenever she talks about this. There are still some like old school sane conservatives, I guess, who just want to be like, let's get back to deregulation. Like you guys are fucking up. You guys are doing this like back and forth nonsense and you're you're harming our chances of like coming into positions of power and actively undermining the federal agencies from within like Trump did. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They have this major problem. They have a spiritual problem in the GOP right now. Uh, let's see. Charlie Kirk, is, is he threatening them? Sounds like maybe. So here's what's happening right now. This is why the window needs to be filled very quickly. God, he's a strange looking dude. He's so odd. And I don't even mean that as an insult. I mean, just I've never seen someone else that looks like him. Very unique look. This is the gayest generation in American history. Right. The establishment, the uniparty, the bad actors in D.C., they are out for blood. For the eight people that voted against McCarthy, I've been just hearing whispers about some of the articles, uh -oh. opposition research, uh -oh. you know, rumors of things. Oof. It Oof. is about to get very, very nasty. Sounds fun. Uh -oh. So I like how he's on their side. He's like, oh, the, the established Republicans, they're coming for him or whatever. And I've been hearing a lot of really bad stuff about all my guys. Yeah. So look out. Like, it isn't like, oh, I'm disgusted by that. It's like, yo, heads up. Heads up, buddy. All of your crimes are about to come out. I don't think um, this is a good opportunity to remind everybody that Charlie Kirk was anti-Donald Trump before Trump won the primaries. Just want to point that out. Charlie Kirk is uh, a person who cares about Charlie Kirk more than anything else. Oh, he, I mean, he loves Donald Trump now, but uh, I don't think he has any allegiances to Matt Gates. If Matt Gates is doing stuff that's like fucking the bag up for the rest of the Republican Party in as public a fashion as Matt Gates has fucked the bag up for them. So um, this is the reason why I think he's just saying like, look alive, buddy. And I think Donald Trump is also very good at just like ripping uh, his own like loyal supporters over and over again. Kevin McCarthy included, as a matter of fact. Yeah. So uh, I don't think he gives a shit about Matt Gates uh, at all, especially because he could probably say Matt Gates is a Florida guy, so he's DeSantis's guy. Matt Gates has actually helped DeSantis mm -hmm. do debates. I mean, this guy, this guy, they're saying he's a pedophile, folks. They're saying it for <laughs> Little Ronda, too. I'm not saying it. They're saying Don't it. Don't call him a pedophile. Don't, Don't do it. You can't do it. When Matt Gates came to me. It hasn't been proven yet. When Matt Gates came Don't to me, him. hat in hand, he said, please, Mr. President, I love you. Please pardon me. I said, what for? You've done no crime, I thought. What's Don't going on? I've heard Matt Gates is a pedophile. Yeah, I don't Trump, believe it, though. I'm not even... Dude, saying. oh, God. Trump should just hire me, dog. What the fuck? I, sh <laughs> I should just turn heel and become a Republican. <laughs> I would be so good. So here's Fox News getting super pissed off about it all. Which I'm I furious. 
First Uh-oh. of all, She's we're pissed. without a speaker. This is historic. Something like this hasn't happened in well over a hundred years. And Bomb now what them. we've wait, got wait. is I thought it's never happened. I don't yeah, think, I thought so too. I don't know what you mean. I, I, th- I think this is the first time that the Speaker of the House has been uh, yeah. ousted. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, she's hedging her bet. Hundred yeah. years. Bottom Who knows chaos, what happened before that? When yeah. the Republicans are playing out their infighting on national television in a historic way, instead of fighting Joe Biden's policies, the one time we are up in virtually every metric as it relates to the Biden administration, wow. you have <laughs> the Republicans going out there and showing how dysfunctional they are as Matt yeah. Gates is engaging in fundraising. And I got to tell you something. I am furious. There's no question that this is something that they have been trying to do for almost nine months that McCarthy's been speaker. And the truth is that they've done a lot in Congress. They've got a lot of bills passed. The fact that the Senate doesn't want to take them. They've done a lot in terms of oversight. And, you know, now you've got the Democrats. This is the crazy thing. Democrats who hate the MAGA Republicans are now joining with the MAGA Republicans to oust uh, Speaker McCarthy. Mm -hmm. This is like the devil is in the middle of all of this Mm -hmm. chaos. And Donald Trump is right. Why are the Republicans fighting with each other like that? It's awesome. Love it. Love to see it. This one sounds juicy. Mike Pence, chief of staff, says, what about Matt Gates, Who's not a pedophile, folks? Uh, but don't say that. the people who were masquerading as fiscal conservatives really, What's your really argument? aren't, Jake. I mean, Matt Gates, it, it, to say he came here as a fiscal crusader, it's more likely he came here for the teenage interns on Capitol Hill. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> isn't that fucking epic? This is what I'm saying. They're going what mask off on him, dude. What the fuck, dude? Dude, Mark Short. Yo! Yeah! What a fucking king. And that's Mike Pence's guy, the most milquetoast dude, dude in the world. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, they got daggers out, dude. I'm Matt telling you. Gonna get fucking... that's, that was just a good ass line, too. That's funny. One more that's time. That's awesome. Oh my God. Free Nestor. Free Nestor. Free Nestor till it's spelled really, backwards. Really aren't, Jake. I mean, Matt Gates, it, it, to say he came here as a fiscal crusader, it's more likely he came here for the teenage interns on Capitol Hill, to be honest. Look, he, he Dude, is... that was so fucking Bro, good. here's the thing. It, they've already been, like, throwing out sussy one-liners about how he, like, apparently he takes uh, Viagra and energy drinks to go all night. I saw something like that. They're just fucking ripping him. They're Madison Cawthorning him right now. Right, right. They're all, it's all true, right. by the way. You can't go after, you, you just can't. You can't disrupt process I mean, he, like this. He's a disgusting freak, and it's all true. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So I love that. Matt Gates thought, because he's like a Florida congressperson, you know, you, pedophilia and, and uh, getting a DUI would be a prerequisite, which it is. If you're a Florida congressperson, it, it kind of is. You have to get a DUI, um, especially... And, and now, in, in the national stage, people, you know, sometimes have an issue with that, <laughs> turns Show out. Us. So, the really interesting uh, twist in all of this is, hold on, a secret weapon is brewing. Could it be? Could it be? Now, I want this so sources bad. Sources telling me at this hour, some House Republicans have been in contact with and have started an effort to draft former President Donald Trump to Pause be the for next a second. Yes. And- They're so horny, they wrote Fromer. Like, look, some House Republicans are trying to draft Fromer President Donald Trump. Like, they were so excited. <laughs> they were to slamming that it out real quick. Yeah. They were slamming the fucking keyboard on that Chiron. They were like, Ugh! they nutted. <laughs> So true. And I have been told uh, that uh, President Trump might be open to helping the Republican Party, at least oh, well, in the gracious. short term, if He's open, necessary. So. Uh, yes! If it's needed. Anyway, Arthi. Yes! Bro, it's ha- so good. I love how he's saying his, his sources, which, like, is it? They're it's like Trump. dog. Yeah, I mean, yeah. his like sources are Donald Trump. Yeah. It's yeah. so <laughs> fucking good. Please, please, but, like, please make this happen. Please. That'll be so interesting because clearly Trump doesn't know anything about procedures because everything in there is like exactly. super, super high level procedural. Exactly. It's going to be such a fucking Bro, <laughs> amazing you can, show. You can be president and not know a single yeah. fucking thing and yeah. you'll be carried around. Joe Brandon is like barely a fucking alive human and he's like doing a phenomenal job, right? <laughs> um, but you cannot be the speaker yeah. of the house and not do all of the wheeling and dealing All of the conniving politics like it is the most political position. It is the most politics position 
You need to know all the procedures. You need to like yeah. go through all of these like different loops. Like you have to fucking get your caucuses together. Donald Trump would fucking kill himself in that position. Right. He'd be like, "This is the worst thing I've ever had to do." But even he would like, just not do it. Do you, Try it. No. Oh, what she do? She, she went right. for a cord for a cable, Come but here, it's guy. fine. She didn't. Come here, baby. Oh God! Trump posted this with the with the gavel and the hat in the chamber. He's in, baby. And I mean, like, if you've ever seen the Speaker of the House, the motherfucker. they're speaking like another <laughs> language. It's so bureaucratic. It's so procedural. He, yeah. There's no shot. Let's indict the motherfucker. God, it would be amazing. It would be amazing. I love, I love that. Oh, it would be amazing. But I want it, it so bad. Let's get the hammer in hand, people. I mean, that's, that would tank his presidency, I feel like, for sure. He would look like such a dumbass. No, I think that he, uh, I mean, it would be horrible uh, <laughs> he would just do such a bad job. He would just hate it. It would be awesome. Um, it, it'd be horrible for the country. But like, I mean, what isn't? What is good for the country at this point? You know what I mean? I'm just, I'm just in it for the fun. One more time. Point. Yeah, yeah. One, one more time. Well, I think it'll. It's appropriate to give him a few days to get away. Come back on right. Tuesday. Have a forum. Allow people to present their issues for. But I think that what's what's concerning is we really are 33 trillion dollars in debt. Yeah, we do have a border uh, crisis. 100%. There's a lot of. It. Really, really aren't, Jake. I mean, Matt Gates. It, it, to say he came here as a fiscal crusader, it's more likely he came here for the teenage interns on Capitol Hill. To be honest, <laughs> well, he, he's voted for continuing. That's resolution. the best Holy fucking line. Sheesh. Shout out, Mark. That's not. That's or, deliberate. They're coming. They're coming for him. What a guy. Well, that's about it. I don't know if there's anything else. Wait, if you're to. liking the Matt Gates thing, you got to this one last one. You got to see this clip. Oh, I love the Matt Gates thing. So yeah. Yeah, they're they're fucking. Because he's cooking. not the only one. They're, the masks are coming off pretty quickly. Okay, here. here we go. Here we go, dude. One house, four hundred faces, dude. Four hundred and thirty-six faces. You know. <laughs> you got to think about this guy. Um, this is a guy that didn't have that. The media didn't give a time of day to after he was accused of sleeping with an underage girl. Oh, oh, they all remember this now. Of course, all of a sudden they, they worked shoulder to shoulder. They didn't. They didn't seem to care, but now they're just. They really. Yeah. They're all so oh, concerned yeah, about all it. Coming, I, all, I mean, now. Mark Ray Mullen is especially is just like a. I fucking hate him so much. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, Republican from he's Oklahoma. I mean, he's a senator too. Like. Yeah. No. I, this, <laughs> the other guy was like a former chief of staff to Mike Pence, but now we have like. This is real shit. Oh, you'll get more quotes stuff. like this flying around. I'm yep. so glad that they're interested in, uh, you know, uh, p taking people responsible for sleeping yeah. with underage mm -hmm. girls. That's maybe really refreshing. Maybe Matt Gates is like, uh, this is his like exit strategy to be like, oh yeah, they came after me and said I was a pedophile, not because I uh, did sex trafficking of minors, but because I, you know, disrupted congressional process. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, That's what's the be goal a tough there, one. Matt? What's going uh, on there? They What's didn't the invent agenda? it. Yeah. I've never, felt, I know. I've never felt more confident in my position early on. On like there was a there was a back and forth going on with force to vote. <clears throat> I don't know if you remember this. Uh, back in the day when Nancy Pelosi was supposed to be voted in for speaker, yeah. and there was also a slim majority in in the Democratic Party. Well, it was it was a wider majority than the one that the Republicans had, but still, <clears throat> there were some people. Some at the time considered themselves to be uh, leftists. Others uh, are are no longer uh, leftists. That were saying, "No, do do this exact same thing that Matt Gates is doing to force a um, to force to the floor a Medicare for all vote because mm -hmm. um, they had it in the House. They had the majority in the House. They had the majority in the Senate. Okay, and it was." I was very critical of it. I thought that it was a silly thing to do because it would only make uh, it would only draw animosity to progressives and Medicare for all in general, and it would ultimately be catastrophic, um, with with no tangible uh, uh, positives for the progressive movement or Medicare for all. Because it was very unlikely to pass. It was yeah, point, it was right? not going to pass. Like zero. Like chance. of course it wasn't going to pass because Democrats don't want Medicare for all. Democratic politicians don't want Medicare for all. And and at the time, everybody yelled at me, but it seems like, hey, look at that. Do you think Matt Gates is looking too good right now, looking too hot? Well, he also does have the sex crimes going for him. 
Well, yeah. Which but... makes it a lot easier <laughs> to kind of... Even if he didn't have it. Yeah. Um, he, he would look bad, they but would the still rip him. is good. It's a good angle. Yeah. Oh, one. And the conference came and defended him because we had all seen the videos he was showing on the house floor that all of us had walked away of the girls that he had slept with. He'd brag about how he would uh, the crush the medicine and, and, and chase it with this is what um, I was... uh, with an energy shit. drink so he could go all night. This is obviously before he got married. And so what? when that accusation came out, no one defended him. And then no one on the media would give him the time of the day. All of a sudden, he found fame because he opposed the Speaker of the House Prime. back in November. And he's always stayed there, and he's not. He was never going to leave until he got this last moment of fame by saying, by by going after a motion to vacate. Is he regretting this? You, know? you think Gates is like, I probably fucked up. Now that everyone's calling him a pedo. I mean, how did he not see it? Like, how did he not see that this was going to happen? To he him? was clout hungry. He got clout blinded. This clout shit's funny, dude. Could it know that he is? Uh probably fucked on all of the ethics investigations and so by doing this he can oh. be like oh they're just trying to uh yeah they're trying, they're trying to they're the deep is trying to bury me yeah i, I don't know up man. To kevin mccarthy but I mean, the problem a, is like i don't think there's a lot of appetite not he, that like, good of a strategy the base won't <laughs> punish you for being obstructionist but like that still doesn't change the reality that like you are hurting the the overall uh, way that the the well, People view the Republican Party. If all your col colleagues are, are doing media appearances, calling you a pedophile, <laughs> yeah, that's not going to be good for the image. <laughs> for, you know. for your image. Like before, it could be like, oh, it's a partisan attack from the Democrats. But now, no, the, be like, the best part right. of this is like the battle lines are being drawn, right? And everyone's like kind of shitting on Matt Gates for understandable reasons. And it's like there's so much wonderful opposition research opportunities here for like every single Republican to just like point the finger at everyone that now has associated themselves at any point with the radioactive brand of Matt Gates that you can just like they don't I don't even think they foresee the 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 backlash that they themselves will receive from this like I mentioned this hurts Ron DeSantis Matt Gates Florida congressperson right. Matt Gates is an ally to Ron DeSantis this is going to literally rip uh Ron DeSantis further in my opinion Right, so I, I, like Trump. If I'm Trump, I'm using this against little Rhonda, like aggressively. <laughs> little I'm, poor little Rhonda. Little Rhonda. He's taking enough. Meat I'm bow. saying the Republicans need me to unite the party, and uh, no other Republican can do that on the debate stage. I'm the only one to do it, and uh, you know, little Rhonda loves Matt Gates uh, just like Matt Gates loves uh, kids. I will say. <laughs> Oh, come on. Don't say he's a pedophile, Hassan. We don't know that he's a pedophile. Allegedly. We don't know Matt What's your argument? is a pedophile. Come on. Um, he's also a very strange looking guy. Very strange. Yeah, he looks like, very like a villain. He just he, has like absolutely. villainous vibes always. Ugh. I don't know what it is. But, <laughs> That's what Love said this morning. When yeah. I had him pulled up on my screen, he was like, he looks like a bad guy. He <laughs> does. <So mean. laughs> Matt Gates does have the opportunity. The funniest thing, though, I'm just saying, like, when he's going out, don't go out like a coward, dude. Mm. Go out like a hero. Make with that information. Do with that information what you will. <laughs> Knives are out. They're coming to gut you. Fucking do the damn thing. Fight back. Don't back down, Matt. Look at this motherfucker. That's He's like, see, what the fuck? How villainous can you look? He's got like evil eyebrows. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> he looks like the bad guy from Roger Rabbit or something. <laughs> All right. Anything else? No, I'm I'm good. Well, good times. Fun times. Good yeah. times. Exciting times. And if Trump becomes speaker, please, I just at least try. Like, let's make a, a an honest effort to make that happen. I am fully in support of Donald Trump becoming the speaker. And then acting like the speaker uh, position means that he can't be tried anymore. It's <laughs> like that's what's gonna Just happen. He's gonna be like, I'm the speaker Wait. of the house. You can't try me for real. Though, how, what's the likelihood you think that Trump might become speaker? No, uh, I, I I don't think so. I think it's like way more likely for it to be Jim Jordan uh, or maybe Steve Scalise, even though he's like dying right now. Well, that's perfect. I think Steve Scalise has like <laughs> blood cancer or something, right? Oh. I hadn't heard about like, that. Well, then he has like some some different Steve, kind of David Duke Scalise. Yeah, David Duke without the baggage. Without the baggage, I'm sorry. David Duke without right. the baggage. The good the good David Duke. Yeah. 
What? Uh, David Duke's baggage? Hate, hate being a multiple... racist? Just people knowing that he's a Klansman, I think, is his baggage. Like, if, if people don't know that you're a Klansman, but you have, like, like, Klansman politics, then they can't say that for you. <laughs> God, he's such a weird-looking dude. Look at this, man. <laughs> I say have fun with it. You don't have to be in Congress or a uh, sitting politician to be representative. <laughs> All right. Well... Thank you, everybody. Tomorrow we're having our House, uh, House Speaker uh, Live update. Trump considering visiting Capitol next week. Go. Do it. Let's get him in there. Waste no time. Um, thank you, everyone. We'll be here tomorrow for our big membership drive. Oh, yeah. Extravaganza. Starting at 11. Much, much better than this episode. Yeah. It's well, possible. It's more than know. likely. Yeah. More than likely. Very, very likely. We have a really fun episode planned tomorrow, so there's pretty much no shot that it won't be better than this. Um, thank you guys for watching. God save the queen or the. All right, that's that. <laughs>